Yes, the murder hobo. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Um, so this guy's like, hobo. have you heard the one and only and just like you like shove it like how how is it you're killing this dude randomly? Um I, I'm, I'm just like the moment he like starts to like try and sell me a religion, like the sword comes out and like like balls to brains, like just slice slice up. Oh, <laughs> so you like start at the knee, and uh, you probably do one of those things where mm. like to get extra leverage, you actually turn away from him and use your shoulder to prop it up, and just yeah. like and there's this like squelching sound as he's eviscerated, just like, like really slowly. Before the before the light goes out in his oh eyes, God. I'll say, "Let's see what your God has to say about that," and then just drop him on the ground and be like, "All right, let's go." Uh, as he's collapsing, though, his mouth actually seems to open and possibly wide for a second. A bunch of tentacles come out of it, and it's almost like he turns inside and out before eating himself and disappearing. Beautiful. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, there we go. Woo! Hey. I love the the icon yeah. for Geth is like a paladin's hammer, but he's just such a terrible paladin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I chose it by your class, but I realize like you're once again class in D and D, and I'm. It depends on your DM, of course. Like I, class in D and D for me is just the baseline structure of how you're getting your shit, but how you flavor it is up to you. Like a paladin doesn't have to be some goody two shoes holy warrior. It just means that you are a divine warrior of something and it doesn't even have to be a god in fifth edition you think about where a paladin gets their power in fifth edition they made a promise Five so hard oh god fuck a month what are you doing with Thanks, your life quick, quick. um oh my ears they they made a problem or they made a promise so hard that they just get magical powers out of it that's how a paladin works yeah oh god my ears why do i allow that to stay Why is it at like 400%? Okay. Because $5 a month, what are you doing with your life? Because $5 a month, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> okay, all right, okay, all right. Look at that, the noli cannolis even got the little leaves on those things. It's like what I got on my stream right now. <laughs> For the Kanakistan stuff. Gotta rep rep represent. Yo, oh, represent. <laughs> and you won't represent. Yeah, you yeah, want yeah. me to fucking do about it? I'm gonna say I'm sorry for interceding, and then politely ask if you'd consider otherwise. <laughs> sorry. All right, all right. Let's get into this. Let's play some Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so getting into a little bit of a recap in the previous episode. Uh, we learned how terrible these people are through cannibalism. So the way this works, hey. <laughs> the way this it's worked little... is uh, they got into the ship and finally introduced themselves to the crew, firmly solidified them signing up with the crew. <laughs> so, uh, beer kicking in. Um, getting on, figuring out what kind of pay structure they're going to get and what sort of exciting things they're going to get into. But they found out that their narrator, or their narrator, their navigator is not on board right now because she has been taken by someone or something, an organization, a person you're not entirely sure at that moment. So you, uh, your captain said, well, I've got an idea of where to go. It'll take us like 24 hours and we'll just like quickly head there and see if we can get some information about it. I then threw up a sign that quickly said four months later, at which point you're in a space battle being chased by a bunch of killer squirrel people called the Void Killers and a bunch of shit happened. Um, you didn't quite make it out and you ended up getting boarded. Thankfully, some of them got kind of lost to space during the boarding because you guys didn't completely flub it, but you did get boarded by some of them. 
And with this, you killed all but one. The one that you've named Slim Jimbo, because you gotta snap into it sometimes. And you got some information out of Slim Jimbo. One digit at a time. <sighs> you guys are... Yeah, I don't even know. I can't... I just can't even. I, like, just can't even. Um, <laughs> yeah, I healed him. <laughs> yeah, you healed over the skin flaps. Doesn't restore the fingers. You need, like, regeneration for that. A uh, little, little bit higher of a spell. <laughs> But, with this information, you learned that your person had been captured, sold to, stolen by, you're not entirely sure of the details, but transferred to the power of someone else. Someone named Radathor the Sorter, one of the lead people at some sort of post office within the city. You know, there's several of them. You never really dealt with him before. You have no idea what he's like. Um, at all, whatsoever. But uh, nevertheless, this is who you found out has your navigator. You guys landed in the ocean near the city, and it is just called the city, because there's only one city on this planet, and it is the city. And you walked further in to the city, sort of talking around with a few people, sort of scoping around first, and that's, uh, and you decided to go talk to your ex-middle management dude, Derek, for a little while. Um, and I completely forgot to that wh how that last episode ended till just now. I completely forgot that you had brushed by someone and I was supposed to set up a possible fight with that shit. Um, so that's not gonna happen quite that way unless something really, really bad happens. We're going to see. This is why I have emergency maps. <laughs> but you hard, like, almost shoulder-checked the Minotaur out of this other adventuring group. And uh, that's basically where we left off. Who was it that did this heinous act again? I forget. Was it, it was your, uh, your Thamos? Didn't Noli Canoli cut him with his knife? Oh no, that's what it was. Noli cannoli. You you cut him with his knife or your, your knife or something, didn't you? With a poison knife, I poison thought. Knife. Poison knife. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Fuck. Knife. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we're getting into this then. So so you go in, you cut him with a poison knife. This ought to be fun. All right, so he's what I want you to do... Maybe he doesn't notice the, the slice. Well, uh, he's not going to notice getting cut by a knife. He's going to notice getting cut by a knife. It's whether he's going to notice you doing it. So the way we're going to paint this picture is just like when you were first hired, there's a bunch of people milling about. It's not like you're alone with them. There are other people. It's fairly crowded. So I'm not just going to say he notices you. You are going to get a chance for him to just get cut, but not realize where it came from. This is called a sleight of hand skill check for me, please. If you could do one. Oh, shit. No. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, <laughs> here and, we go, boys. Get ready. Yeah, okay. He's going to notice. Um, however, however, and you know what? Let me, let me get a... Um, no, I don't need it. Okay. Let me get a thing here. Uh, that's his con save. <laughs> so, yeah. So... Basically, you go over, you cut him with your poison blade. He's a big boy. Um, you imagine just a coated blade isn't enough to poison such a large fellow because he even dwarfs you to a degree. Like, he is, he's a very large fellow. Um, you cut him with the blade and you hear, Oh, hey, what? Why? Um, with that, you, there's a shadow growing over your form as this towering minotaur sort of leers over you. What are you doing? Answer me. I... I believe you have something we need, and it's a contract. And I don't believe there is enough guards here to protect you guys, as if they need our help, they're not going to be helping you anytime soon. Oh... Uh. Why you want our contract? Hey, Eleven, get over here. 
And with that, a, a uh, an elf in robes actually also walks over. What can I do for ye? together and work on this contract well um this isn't entirely a strenuous contract i don't think it's the type of thing we would normally split um why do you want this contract a contract so badly because i believe pets everyone should be allowed to have pets and if you're helping the guards then they're not allowed to have pets I don't think you should be helping the guards. I'm a very against this. I That's see. Very delicious. Well, That's very delicious. Um, were they helping the guards? I thought it said they were actually protecting the protesters against the law. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, this is all big understanding. Uh, yeah, we are. We we like pets as well. One of our members is a summoner. They adore pets. Um, you know, summoning fire elementals to light our stove, or puppies to set off traps. <laughs> Guys, they got me. Help. Geth's gonna, like, fucking <laughs> elbow inhale a Thor and be like, what the fuck is happening right now? Their negotiation, I believe it's called. So, um... My friend here seems to have been cut by your blade. Um, that's a bit of a no-no as far as adventuring guilds are concerned. Are you a fellow member of this guild? We are, yes. Yeah, I see. Can take it from Derek himself. Very well. So we, we'll register an official complaint about you having, um, Injured us in the course of setup and duty. You, uh, hey, 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 Eric. Easy. Derek has ran away already. <laughs> uh, yeah, Derek's already like he went long gone in the building and shut the door like last time. <laughs> he's he's got you ever hear the, like a bang and then like another bang and then like him going up the stairs like bang another bang. We're gonna move forward and I'm gonna say listen listen we don't nobody needs to file reports or anything like that. It was an accidental graze of the knife. He's fine. That's an Everybody's awfully deep slice for an accidental grave. I, I mean, uh, accidental or not, should not HR hear about this? I'm going to cast um, Heal Wounds on his Slash okay. for one of my healing spells and say, now there's no, no harm, no damage. Although the healing is appreciated, if I were to repeatedly punch you in the face and then heal it afterwards, would you not remember the negativity of being punched in the face? I mean, Jimbo didn't seem to mind. <laughs> I don't get get your joke. Yeah. So Binks, he was a delicious pet. I see, Binks is Binks is gonna walk over and he's gonna grab me. Yeah, you're with most by the arm and go. Look, my friend's a big dumb idiot when he's hungry. Come on. And just drag him off. Uh, I'm gonna grunt and walk with him. Okay. Well, let's I'm gonna still... approach him with uh, my bakery contract and say, uh, "I believe there was a mix-up. Uh, this is your quest, and that's our quest." Uh, okay. Well, I mean, after everything that just happened, I, that's that's gonna be a a deception. Um, at disadvantage for sure, for sure, and he's gonna get insight at advantage. I still got this, but I mean, you you never know. I like the confidence. <laughs> I got this. Oh yeah. Oh god. Come on, baby, double twenties. Let's go. <laughs> no. <laughs> he looks at you and goes, <coughs> um. So, um, oh, um, very funny, but no. And he, like, does something with his hand where he, like, oh, he holds it up and then it just sort of disappears like a magic trick. Just like, poof, little puff of smoke. You're not getting our contract. 
I'm not sure what your fascination with this is, but due to the fact that you have tried not one, but two, albeit subpar ploys, to get the contract, we're that much more interested in it now. I mean, I could just kill you for it. Yeah, you no, could no. just try. And then, of course, you are standing in an open square within the city um, near the recording orbs of the guild who claim to work for. So even if yeah, you are successful, you. you will never work here again. Oh, no. Yes, I think be... she just threatened you. I'm pretty sure she just threatened me. That, that sounded like a threat to me. Actually, you're... Be being the elf in front of you, you're not sure if it's a she or a he or somewhere in between. They they tend to be fairly gender fluid. So uh, it yes. they. I'm going to cast command. Okay. Um, do I know who has the contract? Uh like the, the last contract? that you saw was this elven robed person. They like they like did some magic trick thing and it disappeared from their hand in a poof of smoke. You're assuming it's probably still on them? They don't um, seem I, like terribly only, proficient adventures. I think I can only make a one-word command. Uh, uh, yeah, one-word command. Is it one uh, word? So I'm going to put my hand out, cast command, and say contract. Contract. Okay. Uh, With a gesture of like, give it to me. All right. What what is the DC of your save? It is. I believe it's twelve. Hold on. Let me cast the spell. Ah, uh, yes, 12. Okay, and it's, uh, it's wisdom. Yes, okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. Ah! <laughs> <sighs> um, so you go up saying contract. Basically, the, the elf looks at you and goes, Listen here, I am not giving you the contract. Here's the contract. You're not going to get it from us. It is our con- Wait the- Wait a minute. Thanks. Have a good day. And I'm just gonna we'll turn around and walk away. What? Oh. Let's go. So, oh yeah, yeah. The the elf and the minotaur start heading back to their own group. In the distance, you you hear a big gruff voice. It looks like it's their manager, like an older dude, going, "God damn it! That's the second time this week you let that happen." <laughs> oh, I love it. I love I love my job. You know what? You do something you love and you never work a day in your real life, right? Fuck. Well, at least you didn't get into a fight with that, and I suddenly had to, like, bullshit pull things onto a map. <laughs> like I've got emergency maps as a just in case, but it wasn't my plan for today because I completely forgot about it. I mean, that was my plan. Never mind. Let's move on. So that that was that, that was. That was the contract for protecting the protesters? <clears throat> yeah, so you already have the contract for, like, guarding a bakery. Now there's a contract for... I, I'm pretty sure it was, it was to protect the protesters, which were against the anti-pet law. Like, you're basically... If you protect them, you're for pets. Um, okay, so first question, how are we going to do this? Do we go... Well, we, we got to rescue uh, re rescue our navigator and burn down a, a mail place? Um, we're, uh, do we want to protect the protesters first or do we want to do that first the uh, protest the actually seems to be happening in two days you just got a uh, notice ahead of time uh, 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 okay. <clears throat> and the guarding of the bakery happens tomorrow why don't we go right now rescue our navigator then we have one more person for these quests and then finish these quests and then get back to the ship when, when I took this quest I didn't have any intention of actually guarding the bakery i was just gonna go back after and uh you know claim the reward for it i don't think we're ever coming back after this oh i'm coming yeah. back derek has <laughs> we, pizza for us in two we got hours. pizza <laughs> we got we gotta come back for that fucking pizza you really I mean, want to deal uh, with your othamos being all hungry we're supposed to get the pizza later today that's what i'm saying like we we what we one get our navigator go get the pizza and then we save I love that I've presented you guys a ship that can traverse the multiverse, going anywhere and maybe in some cases any when, depending on how you do this. Uh, but you will stay for a pizza party. <laughs> hey, I'm hey. getting my fucking pizza party. <laughs> All right. 
food. So I as you move off, off, you see oh. the angry people in the background and everything going on as far as that's like the guild shit is concerned. You move on into the city. Where are you headed and what are you doing? I say let's go to the post office. Yeah, so you guys thinking we post should go to the post office? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. First yep. place post office. Undo P. Can I use a little bit of time to summon in a uh, minion? Oh yeah, of course, of course. I, I assume because your minion doesn't de summon at any point, really. I assume you oh, just so kind I of always have one with you. Okay, okay. There's no yeah, time so limit on your minion. It just it goes away if you if it dies, basically. On the way over, kind of mess with my prepared spells a little bit. Um, if you guys are doing a long rest, like you're spending eight hours, then uh, feel free to do so. Oh, never mind, never mind. That's usually when you swap out things. Um, now, you just did finish a long rest. You haven't really done anything per se. Like, if you wanted to swap them out now, I'm not going to be too, like, er about it. Go ahead. and If you just needed to swap something because of what you're doing, that's fine. Go for it right now. All alone. I'm easy. That's what the girlfriend says. You're a, a kind and humble god. <laughs> for now. <laughs> 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 All right. Love it. Uh, I miss I miss voice acting. I miss doing that shit. Anywho, anywho, so you are heading to the post office. In the post office. Did I already drag you guys out? You know, I'm gonna redrag. Sometimes it's weird if you drag them out before people join. So I'm gonna redrag out your character. Shit. Uh, right. which which what kind of minion did you summon this time? It was an octopus, though. Uh, octopus again? Okay. Bloop. It's a big fucking octopus. Jesus. It is. It is. Jesus. Octopus are actually really smart, too. <clears throat> it's true. All the octopodes. Doesn't it need, like, water, though? He's fine. <laughs> and then I reach into my bag of holding. Uh, they can. And then come out and sprinkle him with some of the seawater. Uh, it can survive out of water for an <laughs> hour. Oh, God. Oh, word. Okay, I pour a little bit of the seawater from my bag before we go on. Now, here. being the specialist in the minion, as terrible as this is, every hour, if you spend a minute to resummon it, it'll get another hour. It just dies in the interim. Like, basically, you're constantly resummoning it every 60 minutes to slowly suffocate. Nice. Uh, that's up I'm to okay you if you that. want to inflict that sort of trauma. Because when you summon your minion, I assume it's like when you summon uh, your familiar, where it's kind of the same consciousness, but it's a different form every time. Yes. Yes, exactly. Could I actually yeah. just switch them out for a giant eagle? I was about to say, that's around. pretty harsh for somebody that loves animals. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> oh, giant eagle. I thought you said eel for a second. I'm like, that's not any better. Um, worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, eagle. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you can hot swap it. Like, it only takes you, like, um, it only takes you a minute. It's You've got limited uses, but honestly, they come back on a short rest, so it's not a big deal. They're meant to be, um, like, sacrificial, like, go, die for me. <laughs> like, that's the point. Uh, all right. Okay, let's, uh, so we've got you over here. You are, you are in front. I believe you've got proper limited sight. You can't see in the building, right? Everything's nope. good. I well, except through the right windows, of course. Of you can see through yeah, the yeah. windows. Like oh, right give here. me one second. Some of these windows are, like, not windowy. I yeah, I can't see nothing over here. Uh, sight restriction yeah. should be none. Oh, I got most of the windows. I just missed those two by the looks of it. There we go. I see somebody that appears to be underpaid, and I I feel for them. Yeah, yeah. In that room, I think you're seeing the bashful underpaid employee and a sly underpaid employee. Mm, rip. Should we like wander around and do a perimeter check? You yeah, do whatever you check please. the perimeter. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna send my no one said that this they were hostile. I guess should we just knock? Uh, well, I mean, they 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 kidnapped our navigator, so they're probably not friendly either. If you're doing a rescue mission, I always check the perimeter. All right. Um. Uh, well, like, uh, what if I can't 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 like I can see a guy? What if I like stealth kill? 
<laughs> he, he looks like a pretty small guy. I think uh, I, I, maybe, I think maybe one arrow maybe. should do it, like right between the eyes. Uh, he doesn't seem like much of a threat, but maybe. I mean, how attached are you to these people? Well, he might know something. Uh, that's this a good... room over here looks empty. We can maybe bash through this window. Gain surprise entry. You, which side are you on? Uh, right side. If you're looking at the uh, doors. We're gonna break in through the window. Are we doing this? I don't know. I'm just saying this is the very. I mean, it's one room. You can see inside it pretty well. So there's about six to seven people inside. This is another <clears throat> room right here. We could easily break into these two, split up the team, and bam, bam. Um, uh, is that a door? Just to stop for one second. So as, as you're there, you guys are sort of checking out the building and whatnot. A um, there's people going up and down the street. Most of them really could give two shits, but there is one dude that actually comes up towards uh, Yorthmos, Binks, and Geth. Oh, and, and Robert uh, um, as well. And he just looks at you and goes, "Hey, what are you doing?" Uh, we're gonna be sending some mail. Is that a problem for you? This is no. Office, but right? what you should be doing is accepting your one and only Lord Morgaboth. Have you I heard him. the word? Is, uh, but before he finishes his sentence, mm. I'm gonna fucking slash him with my great sword. Oh my god, you guys! And I'm glad right I wasn't like we're we'll gonna be heroes this game. <laughs> take him and take him off, like you know, discreetly. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, just g give me an attack. He doesn't look like he's a anybody. So. Yes, the murder Jeez. hobo. Oh my god, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this guy's like, hobo. have you heard the one and only <laughs> and just like, you like shove it, like how how is it you're killing this dude randomly? Um, I, I'm, I'm just like the moment he like starts to like try and sell me a religion like the sword comes out and like like balls to brains like just slice slice up oh <laughs> so you like start at the knee and uh, you probably do one of those things where mm. like to get extra leverage you actually turn away from him and use your shoulder to prop it up and just yeah. like and there's this like squelching sound as he's eviscerated just like, like really slowly before the before the light goes out in his oh eyes, God. I'll say, "Let's see what your God has to say about that," and then just drop him on the ground and be like, "All right, let's go." Uh, as he's collapsing, though, his mouth actually seems to open and possibly wide for a second. A bunch of tentacles come out of it, and it's almost like he turns inside and out before eating himself and disappearing. Beautiful. What the fuck? I was gonna I was tell you. Trap. I was going to tell you to eat him, big guy, but uh, never mind. As there's a final <laughs> squelching pop of like a little bit of fluid and then a puff of smoke, uh, purple smoke as he disappears, all you hear in the wind is, Orbaga. <laughs> Geth, why do I feel like that's going to come back and bite us in the ass? Uh, I mean, you're not wrong, friend. You're not wrong. Can you can you not meet somebody and want to either kill, fuck, or eat them? Like for real. Can you just talk to somebody for once? I mean, I, no, listen, hot. I'm not too keen on religions, okay? I don't need somebody trying to sell me into one. I already dealt with that. And you don't need that either. Just let just, just uh, you don't want to be that guy, so let me be that guy, okay? Uh. We got bigger fish to worry about right now. So most of the people didn't like it happened so quickly and then he disappeared. Most people didn't even seem to notice, except there was one woman standing across the street doing one of those like silent shaking scream things like she's in like fight, flight or freeze mode and she picked freeze. Um, and it looks like she's working up the courage to begin speaking like she's pointing, <laughs> shaking at you. And there is still like blood and stuff on the ground. I'll look and say, are you trying to sell me a god? She instantly runs away. Yeah, and you hear in the distance, gods, gods. All right. Oh we, uh, the window. My, uh, is she still in view? Uh, she like ducks around a corner, like through the busy streets. <sighs> All right, yep. let's 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 let's. Can I use my long limbs to chase her and kill her by chance? You want to like like just fucking chase her down? Yeah, uh, yeah just, just murder. I'm gonna throw my spear at her. 
Um, oh if God. I court, can Inhalathor send the ego after? Yes! Like, her, okay, so her, we, like... I've got one person that just said they're chasing her down. Another person said I'm they're hucking a spear. And no, someone I'm is sending... and hucking a spear. You're chasing and place. hucking a spear. Okay, so you're an Olympic athlete this shit. Well, the other person is being like, <laughs> Go, eagle! Ah! Um, <laughs> exactly. I mean, she's not getting away. But that's another <laughs> brutal murder in the streets. Uh, at this point... Everyone screams and scatters. Um, and you are hearing a bunch of people going, Guards! Guards! Ah! It's villains! Villains! Oh my gosh, this is I, turning I, out to be horrible. My eagle just lands on a building. It doesn't come directly. I back was her. not prepared to need guard tokens. This one second. Uh, um, g- give me one second. I need I need to get guards. Uh, All right. All right, let's... Do we maybe want to go in to the yeah, post let's... office before the guards get here? Yes. Go yeah. to the post office and just act like we're trying to mail something and be <sighs> really nasty. Like... <laughs> oh, what if you just guard. ran in real quick and be like, oh my god, there's guards everywhere. They're here. They say there's a prisoner. I'm He's here gonna... to check my P.O. box. I'm going to wait for you to grab guards, but I just want to crawl through this window and kill this underpaid um, employee. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I I got a, a basic guard. It's not a pretty picture, but I have a basic guard if we need to. Wow, guys. The murder hobo is Birds fucking no strong what. this campaign. That's because you don't care about this planet. You know, you're fucking, you're, you're Irish exiting after this, so. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. So you go, you enter in the door. There's this braggadocious underpaid employee. Uh, at the front desk, and he looks up and goes, "Hello." I'm gonna moon sickle him. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going into no, 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 no. we are going into um, combat because there's there's no surprise round. He's not surprised. In fact, being an underplayed employee, employee at a post office, he's always expecting to be attacked. So we are going to go into combat. Let me go drag everyone here except the eagle. Uh, oops, I accidentally got rid of your eagle. All right, back there we go. <clears throat> uh, okay, I'm gonna roll for them. Oh my god, somebody died. And you can go into the combat tab and also roll for yourself for initiative. I get to add fucking I don't even need player complications. You're you're your own player complications. Alright, we just need your Othamos and we are good to go. You want to roll your initiative? How, it's not letting me roll my initiative, it just rolled the normal dice. Did you you clicked on the D twenty that's beside you in the combat tracker? Oh, there you go. You got it, Pontiac. Um, everyone rolled. Oh, okay, there's the player complication, so extra guards. Got it. Moving on. You didn't hear that. Uh, all right, the Rye underpaid employee. Uh, so basically, you, you go to swing out with the, the, the moon sickle. You start to draw it. You get prepared for combat. Um, and... Yeah, that's when uh, the first, as a, as a non-action, the braggadocious underpaid employee... Well, he hasn't gone yet. I'm going to say he hasn't said anything yet. So Rye, underpaid employee, is just doing stuff, hating life. Good. Sly, underpaid employee. Um, he's like... Uh, is he going to notice that there's this strange tiefling in the fucking bushes just, like, peeping at him? Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, Geth, can you, uh, actually, what's your, what's your passive stealth? You beat him. Damn it. <laughs> your passive stealth is good enough. So the, the sly underpaid play, Geth, you kind of, like, rustle the bushes a little bit, and for a moment he's like, Oh, what? Oh, it must have been a squirrel. Uh, Eurothemos, and let's, let's move everything to free movement. Eurothemos, you're the, like, you see, like, um, the Gek gets his moonsickle out and sort of gets ready to just 
end this receptionist, dude. Um, but you're the first to, like, with your f- trained fighter skills and everything, you're the first one to actually, like, sort of react for a second as everything slows down. Well, what are you doing? I'm going to... We can get through the windows, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, here, what, what I can do is I can I can set the windows... One second. I will be smart about this. I'll set the windows as doors that you can see through. So they're all closed. Um, oops, wrong, wrong button. But now you can actually, the windows are openable. And do they see us? These uh, two henchmen in there, the sly underpaid? Is it a I mean, attack yet? they, there's people out front, but it's a business. They're not, they're not on alert per se or anything yet. And they, they don't seem to have reacted to the creeper in the bushes so far. I'm wondering if I could do a surprise attack. Uh, if you can, if you can attack them, like in this round, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they wouldn't. So, they wouldn't know. Like if you can shoot them through the window, or you manage to make it into the window up to them in this round. <clears throat> but you got to get there first. You can't just attack them. Your arms aren't that long. <laughs> no, no, no. Of course. It's not letting me like go through the window. Well, it's because it's closed. <laughs> so it's an item interaction to open it, of course. Okay. So, and then I'll go here, which is... Yeah, because that was... That's 25, and that'll get you to 45 feet. 45 feet. Yep. Okay. And he's he doesn't get an attack of opportunity or anything, because, like, it's just suddenly this furry dude fucking rushed into the office, like, over his desk. He's like, oh, what the? Um, all right, so that was, I'm, uh, I'm assuming it was action to dash. Uh, doing anything else? Bonus actions or anything? No, unless I can, can I, I can't surprise attack this turn, right? Well, if you wanted, you could always action surge to get its second action. That's what I, that, yeah, that's what, I'll try an action surge. Action surge. Oh, yeah. Okay, if you do an action surge, then you get another action, and you can use that action as the attack action. Yeah, yeah, because you you only got one of it, so this will this will make sure it's used. All right, now you get to make an attack. Oh god! No. Oh. Well, that was just the extra surprise damage. You still have your you still have to make the attack. Oh okay. That just adds on to your attack if it's a surprise. There. You still got to hit him. Um, oh, there he's higher than I thought it would be. You still hit, though. <clears throat> uh, go ahead and roll your damage. I'm assuming it's just the piercing. You're probably you were one-handing this normally. Yeah, it was just the spear, the one hand, the plus one spear. Yeah. All right. So it's the one d six plus four. The the piercing. Go ahead and roll that for me, please. Yeah, one d six. Oh, you can just click on the damage value right in the box where you rolled. There you go. So nine plus four from your surprise attack, so it's thirteen damage. Um, that is uh, which one was it? The bashful or sly? It was the. I actually hit the sly one. Sly. I okay. Targeted the sly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, it actually targeted. <laughs> Anywho, that was just enough. He had thirteen hit points. Um, so you, how, how you like ran across his desk, suddenly reached out with the spear. How did you finish this guy off? Um, I literally just, he went to turn around to open his mouth to go, and I shoved my spear right in his mouth. <laughs> okay, so you like B and E, like just rush into this place, smashing through the window, like through this guy's mouth. Like I'm assuming, like pinning him, like pushing him back, pinning him against the wall, blood like running down your spear. The guy that was like in the cubicle across from him, like looks at you, looks at him, goes <laughs> like vomits on himself, probably shitting himself at the same point, and just like he's still conscious, but he looks like he's on the verge of passing out in his chair. Uh, good turn. All right. Robert. <laughs> but picking up a rock on the ground, yeah, that would be an action. 
No, no, that's that's just an item interaction. You get it for free. You can just pick up rock off, a rock off the ground. It's that's a nothing. All right, I'm gonna scoop up a rock real quick as I hear the stuff going down inside. Okay. I think this is 30 feet right here. Uh, yeah. Let's see what the commotion is. And can I use Miss Bell Catapult to whip this rock at this dude across the desk there? Yeah, you haven't used a, an action yet or anything. Give her. So that is a DC 13 save. That's 20. He's a... Uh, oh, fuck. Yeah, that was that was a good save on his part. Um, So, unfortunately, you catapult and it just goes... Bing, and, like, off the drywall behind him. It just sort of, like, takes a chunk out of it. And he, like, looks up at you all shocked, like, Woo, there, buddy! Is that it for you? And then, uh, I'll have my turn. All right, all right. Uh, short-sighted, underpaid employee. Okay, with that startled gasp, um, the crack, and then the... Ooh! Uh, I mean, whenever there's an accident in the workplace, everyone comes to rush over and see what happened, right? So... It's 30 feet. <clears throat> and then they see a bunch of guys there. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, oh, and I should probably look, uh, show you the picture of the underpaid employees... So, these are the employees that are working right now. <laughs> are we keeping one as a pet? You can have a menagerie in the bottom of the boat. One of everything we've fought. <clears throat> Going back for the beholder. Um, okay, so he comes in, and he's one of those, you know how there's always that one employee that believes he's more important than he actually is? Like, he's, he was given a special assignment by management once, and now he thinks he's big shit. So he's one of those guys. He, like, walks in, and he's like, what's going on here? Uh, That's a we're trying to deliver mail. Right, Sure. He's like, and he'll spend his action to actually come up a bit further. And he's like, let's see it. And then uh, now we'll move on. Um, okay. Uh, apprehensive. Doesn't really know what's, what's going on. Braggadocious. <clears throat> he's only going to scream, oh, they drew weapons. They drew weapons. Um, and with this, he's, uh, he's going to go, as according to the employee manual, Attack! And he's gonna move up and he pulls it, it looks like some sort of truncheon or like heavy walking cane or something like this. Um and Gek, you're the one with the weapon out. He is gonna aim at you. And like he sort of like trips a little bit over the desk trying to get up to you, and it was a real feeble swing. You're just kind of like, no. Just like push it to the side with your with your sickle. Be gone. Uh, all right. Bashful underpaid employee. Um, all right. Let's see. Let's see what's happening here. Wisdom save. And that is enough. Uh, un uh, I'll do it this way. Unconscious. <laughs> He's just like... <laughs> and just like falls into his own sick and like refuse. Oh. Gek! Alright, and instead of the moon sickle seeing him trip on the desk towards me, I'm gonna choose to bite him. So, we'll go ahead and attack with the bite. Uh, wasn't quite enough. They're not hard to hit, but they're not that easy to hit, unfortunately. So as he's, like, waggling around with this truncheon, um, you just take a quick snap at him with your bite, but it's it's not enough. He's like, oh, ah! and he, like, also bats, sort of bats you away with, with the truncheon thing that he's got. Uh, doing anything and... else? Yeah, actually, nope, I'm good. All right. 
wrathful underplayed in place. So now he's actually, now there's actual sounds of combat. So these guys are gonna get all up in arms about this shit. Got 10 feet left. Um, so this guy comes in and uh, very eloquently says, hey! And then comes in for an attack. Oh fuck, he misses. Um, so it just sort of like bounces off the, the hardened scales of your hide. Doesn't seem to do much. Inhalothor! Man, you guys didn't roll great. No, we didn't. Uh, can I use Shape Changer to make myself look exactly like one of these underplayed employees? Minus the clothes. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Um, it, uh... Yeah, because th- th- does it change your... It, it doesn't change your clothes, right? It's just no, it your body? No, my clothes. It changes... Okay. My so you just look like body. one of them, but in robes. Um, yeah, I believe it's... Is it an action? I don't have many... Yeah, many. it's an action. It's okay, an action. so th- your action is to, like, morph and change until you look like one of them, uh, but in slightly different clothing. Uh, what else are you doing? Anything else? I'm just going to take one step outside and close the doors. All right. And you just, like, it. pulling the doors with you, be like, bye. As you as yep. you begin to shape and change and morph, they didn't quite, they didn't actually notice, because you were closing the doors and they're in combat, they didn't really actually notice anything was changing. All right, and that's me. Binks! All right, we are going to... This one that's trying to attack Geth, we're going to hop behind the desk. And we're going to attack him with our short sword. Okay. Deftly hop behind the desk, brandishing your short sword, and... Um... Yeah, he he just seems to notice it. This guy, like, being oddly adept at what he does, just sort of twirls the truncheon around and then blocks it behind him without even looking, going, hey, hey. Well, shit. Hmm? You've met your maker now. Like, that doesn't hurt. Well, we're going to end our turn there. Okay, and you know I'm gonna ha- start having it so I don't have to ask or possibly miss anything. When you're um, uh, when you guys are at the done at the end of your turn, um, you can actually in the combat tracker there's like an arrow. You can actually click to just like pass on to the next. So Banks, do you see that? I'm gonna have you guys start passing on your own turn when you're done. There we go. That's why I don't have to be like, oh shit, you're sorry. I thought you had, I didn't realize you had anything else to do. And you're like, hey, I'm not done. <laughs> Because that happens. Okay. So this guy's gonna start heading this way. Um. Yeah, he's just gonna stay where he is. He's just not doing aning Alright, Geth! What are you doing, Geth? Let's see. Let's crawl into this window. Five, ten. Oh, this guy's passed out, eh? Uh, did he see you kill that other guy? Eurythmos? Noli? Canoli? Yup. He said he saw you? Okay, uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gank him with my sword. He's, 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 like, knocked down on the ground, like he's fainted, remember? Yeah, but he saw you. Oh, yeah, he definitely saw me. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah I'm just gonna stab him. You're worried about that, but not the entire street of people that saw you eviscerate someone with a, a spear and an eagle. <laughs> cool, got it. He's dead. <laughs> what? What? One witness at a time, okay? <laughs> Maybe set. Well, your, pri- uh, your priorities are weird. <laughs> um, and that's gonna be my turn. Okay. Just wanted to make like I was like, does he know he's fainted? And you're like, I'm killing him anyway. I'm like, oh okay. <laughs> he's gonna get up there. He's gonna get there. Alright. Hell in action. Valiant. He's valiant. Uh 
Uh, he's, he's just, uh, he's just gonna do the same thing. Okay. Oh, oh, and he's got, he's got shit he can do. Oh, yeah, like that. Okay. Almost right. Okay, you're the most. Where are you? There you are. What's happening? Yeah. So, opening the door would be my action? No, it's just it's just an item interaction. You get one free item interaction every turn. Drawing a weapon, opening a door, picking something up off, off the ground, stuff like that. Um, if you need to use multiple item interactions, then it starts cost, costing you actions. But you get one freebie. So, like, an item interaction is interacting with a weapon or anything? Like yeah, yeah. So you can walk through a door as a nothing action, basically, as a freebie. As long as it's only one. If you want to go through a bunch of doors, then it slows you down. Okay. I'm going to open this door for sure. Okay. And I'm going to just step out one step in front of the door for now. Okay. Go for it. I need to see what's going on. There you go. Okay. And from there, I'm going to see everybody in my turn. All right, and you do see a bunch of people saying there. They're all like seem to be waiting, like at the ready, with their like little truncheons out. Um, the uh, sophisticated one right in front of you, like looking behind him and going, "Oh shit!" because he was expecting everyone to come from the main room. <laughs> uh, the short-sighted one. So he's gonna he's gonna be here here. Um, he's got like these really thick like coke bottle glasses and he's like, I think I've got you now And he like puts one hand out to sort of feel you up before he tries to hit you with the truncheon Hey, my turn got skipped Uh, it did. I'm sorry. That was my bad. Robert, I guess I'll let you go Not my bad <laughs> So Robert's coming in. He's all scared watching them all fight Can I cast Crown of Madness on? The one in the back, the, sh uh, the short-sighted. Yes, you can. Underpaid employee. Yes, you can. Uh, it is. What kind of save is this again? Wisdom save. Yeah, go go ahead and do it. So wisdom. Uh oh, it wasn't targeted. I gotta do it manually. Got to do it manually. Uh, he makes it, unfortunately, which I believe the, that means there's no effect. Uh, and a target can act normally in its turn. Oh, it does not save or be charmed. Yeah, so unfortunately, that was a save or suck situation. So, unfortunately, he did make it, which is weird because he had a negative one. He just rolled really well. Um, and he, there's, like, for a moment there, his eyes begin to glow, and he's like, Aah! And then he like lowers the trunch and he's like, no, you owe me five dollars. And he doesn't attack his friend. I'll just save my turn. Okie doke, go for it. Now he's he's comes he's gonna come in and he's gonna be like, oh actually he's gonna come in all the way here and he's gonna be like, Alright! You tried to spell me. I just put my hands up. I'm like, no. Uh, as you put I your hands up, he tries to do that two-handed, like, like poke you in the stomach with the truncheon thing. Um, uh, it, it, like hitting you for five bludgeoning damage as he does so. You're under citizen's arrest! Apprehensive. Now he hears shit going on. Uh, whoops. Ah! He's gonna go here. Open this up. Be like, all right, what are you doing here? Stop and I'll question you. And then he's going to try and hit you with his truncheon. Badly. Oh, you're not who I thought you were. I'm sorry. Uh, braggadocious. He's currently surrounded. He's not liking this. Um, he is. Uh, where's the thing? He's. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna actually attack Binks behind him. Like thought you could get the better of me behind me. Oh fuck, that's pretty good. Uh for six bludgeoning damages, he whirls around and there's just like like 
hollow thunking sound as it hits the side of your head. Just like, tunk. Another beer. I got one then. I'm working on. Thank you. More beers. The white girl, white girl wasted for D&D? &D? Okay. All right. Hard uh, to argue with that. Hard to argue with that one. All right. I, I won't I won't say no to a beer given to me by my girlfriend during D&D. &D. Uh, Gex Slim. Okay. I'm going to move to right here, and then I'm going to target. Okay. Him. One second. As you do so, they will both get attacks of opportunity on you. Oh, that is right. It's like, I, I go easy on you for the first while, but after a while, yep, if you nope. forget, you I've... forget. I become the asshole I've... incarnate. But they both suck, so you're fine. <laughs> yes. All right. So with that said, I'm going to cast... What's it gonna... Oh, Ice Knife. That's what I was going to do. Ooh, Explosions. Uh, who are you? Who are you focusing the ice knife on? Uh, right. Actually, I'm gonna do it right here so that it doesn't hit. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, so saving throw, saving throw. I don't know why it rolls like twice each time. Like, what the fuck is with that? I think both of them had to do a saving throw because once it Yeah, but it, like, it rolled a total of like eight dice when it should have been four dice. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on there. Anywho, uh, one of them made it, one of them didn't. Uh, sorry, uh, it's, a, it's an attack, I believe. So the first guy was an attack, you hit. The second guy, you don't need the attack for, it's just the save. So um, you hit him for the two piercing. That's this guy. Boop. Uh, then there's the explosion, and thankfully the way the mechanics work, it actually does just miss Binks and actually just hits the other dude, which is really nice. Uh, so he made it so he doesn't take anything, but his buddy does, actually taking four damage, which is a good chunk of their health. Uh, because I don't think it's safe for half. Let me double check. Yeah, it's save or, um, it's if, save if you don't take it. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, so you, you hit the one guy, and then it sort of explodes and shatters off of him, like, lodging into his buddy's face, and he's like, Ah, oh, God! Now, am I able to cast my Bomb of the Summer Court, or no, because that's two spells in the turn? Uh, bomb of the Summer Court's actually not a spell. It is a class feature, so you're fine. Okay, so I want to cast that on Binks. Okay, go go ahead and do that. Uh, just roll a d6. We'll just add it. Okay. So Binks, you'll get uh, it's is it two plus something or is it just? Oh, I see. You get a, a number of d6s. Oh, so I gotta do. A you can spend a number well. of d6s up to up to half of your druid level, and you have like a maximum number you have as a re res uh, res in reserve. Gotcha. Uh, so if you only spend the one d6, then it's just two. Okay. So what is so what do I spend? It, what do you mean? So if I is that casting it basically twice almost then? Yeah, you can you can click it twice on someone right now if you wanted to. Okay, I'll just do the two. Just the two. Okay, so Binks, you're gonna get the two hit points yeah. back. And Gek, when you're done, go ahead and end your turn. Raffle underplayed in play here. Let's get rid of this template here for a sec. Um, yeah, so you just heard him. So completely ignoring the fact that there's a kitty cat that could hit him doing this. Uh, he's going to walk up to you to, to hit you. So Binks, you're actually going to get an attack of opportunity on the wrathful underpaid employee. So I just use short sword or whatever attack you would like to use. Oh, as long as it's melee, unless you have a special feat. Or yeah. Thirteen will hit five damage. Uh not enough to take him out because oh ah he holds his side like ah Ooh. But then he's going to try and hit Gek anyways. 
um, but the strenuous, like the the moving, he's like, oh ah, oh medic, ah, oh. doesn't seem to work. Inhale, Thor. You're you're outside. You're just hearing everything. You're not really seeing what's going on right now. Do me or like my bird on top of the building see any guards coming? Uh, not quite yet. It's um, since you started combat, it's it's been like literally like like you're you're on round two, so you're, it's not even been twelve seconds yet. I'm gonna open these doors and uh, can I try to like just casually move past these guys and just say another day at the post office because like I look like one now. Uh, roll a deception check for me, please. Yes, sir. Just a straight one. Well, Oof. uh, the guy, the um, no, the guy looks at you, he's like, You're out of uniform. All right, I'm gonna attack him. Yeah, well, never mind then. Shiv, <laughs> uh, okay, well, he's he's not dead, but like, there is a loud, like, ah, as you slash into him. That's gonna be me. Binks. All right, we're gonna finish off this braggadocious underpaid employee with ye oldy short sword. Oh no, you do not. No, not. Um. So yeah, you you kind of you like stab in, but he once again he just without looking behind him blocks at the truncheon, going nice try again. This guy seems awfully adept at parrying. Uh, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous actually. That's like three moves that he's parried. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a reason I, I work reception. Uh, okay, so this guy who was originally waiting for someone to come into the hallway sees Eurythmos and he goes, Oh no! There's a guy in the hallway! This means that I need to hit him and some things like this. Story reasons. That's a really good hit, actually, for him. Uh, so you're the most. You're gonna take uh, six bludgeoning damage as the guy just comes up and goes, "Yeah, it's time for me to hit you and stuff like that." I'm really sorry that I have to do this, but it seems like I'm compelled to. I'm not pleased. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my kneecaps! <laughs> yeah, go ahead and take six damage. Take the six. Once you have hurt yourself, we'll move on. If you need just... Yeah, you got it. You got it. You figured it out. Okay. Death. No, not a problem. I'll blame you later, off camera, when I can yell at you. Twenty. <laughs> he never yells at us yet. Uh, I think uh, your sophisticated boy's gonna get an attack of opportunity once I move up that way uh oh yeah he would actually yeah you're right you're right thank you uh oh yeah you got like a godly ac uh no he like it goes like bing, like off of your armor oh that's tough yeah, sorry um, about that it's really tough apprehensive employee i'm gonna say excuse me and Ooh. like push him with the point of my sword I'm trying to steer through him, obviously <laughs> Uh, yeah, how are you, how are you finishing this guy off as he just looks at you pleading, like, drops his truncheon right away. Big, like, teary eyes, just like, um, I don't know if you want to attach his body to me or something, because literally what I do is, like, I get up, uh, like, I move around and in front of him and, like, have the sword pointed out and go, excuse me, and just keep walking. So, like, I, I complete the rest of my movement with him on my sword as I'm walking. Okay, yeah, just position yourself where you <laughs> want. I'll just, I'll just set him there. Uh, let's see, hold on. Let me have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, perfect. That, that, that's uh, it. Yeah. Here, attach. 
see console, it wouldn't wouldn't let me attach. Oh, that's why. Erp. Okay, there you go. Uh, just for just just try something. Yeah, he's attached to you now. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, if you move, he moves. Oh god, I'm sticky. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, go ahead and end your turn when you're done. Uh, discreet um, underpaid employees just gonna come up here and be like, I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to do this. I, I don't really uh, do, do this to you. I'm, I'm sorry. Let's just, we're gonna, we're gonna hit you with this. Oh, there we go. That was, that was a pretty good hit there. That's six damage. Okay, there you go. Sorry, sorry about that. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to Hellish Rebuke. Oh, shit. Yeah, take your six damage and then, uh, I, like, uh, I this one, this flame is, back. Discreet. Yeah, hey, little mama, Dis discreet. Again. He's being very uh, discreet yeah. about this. Sucks to be you, buddy. Excuse me, pardon me. Pardon me, excuse me. It's a DC 12. Oh, fuck. That was a fucking failure. It was oh. 19 fire damage. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. It's like double his hit points. Um, yeah, what happens to him? Um, he like comes up and whispers and like and hits me with this thing. And I go, oh. Really? And I like grab his whole face with my hand and then just like ignite him on fire, like through his skull. Okay. All right. Hell yeah. She's like, oh, okay. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> and there's like flame gushing out of every orifice and things that should, shouldn't should be orifices coming out of his, his skull. These are funny looking fellas. <laughs> uh, Valiant uh, looks at the flaming dudes and goes, aha, people are attacking. Hmm. And runs the other way. <laughs> uh, Rye underpaid employee. He's also going to be like, oh, oh, you know what? You're a coward. I, however, have a promotion for management coming up. And he runs. You're the most. Uh, you've got the sophisticated underpaid employee in front of you. He makes one extra copper a month. Can I literally just use my hand? Can I use my hand if I don't have hands as a weapon? Uh, you, you can always attempt to attack reactions. unarmed. It's it's unless you have something special. It's just one point of damage plus your strength modifier. I just want to take his head and slam it into the wall as hard as I can. And try crush it. Ooh. All right, all right. Uh, so roll a um. What, what works here? You can uh, yeah, ju we'll just roll a d a d twenty plus three for me, please. Okay. Or well, actually, what's your strength? Sorry, no, my my bad. D twenty plus five, plus five. The strength is pretty decent. Oh, that's too many. <laughs> oh, whoops. That's it's five d twenty. <clears throat> we'll take the first one. So that was a seven uh, plus five. So uh, that's a 12, which is not quite enough. So you reach out and go to like grab at him or, or like, you're trying to strike him, right? Like basically trying to like punch at him or claw at him. Um, and he just, he just swats it away and he's like, a Perry repost. But it isn't actually repost. <laughs> Are you doing anything else? No, no, no. Go ahead and pass yourself off when you're ready. Robert. I'm going to cast Green Flame Blade on my quarterstaff. Can I make it like a hellbird for a second? We'll just say it like slap it in his neck. Okay. Stab him in the neck. Stab him in the neck. Okay. Uh, so you don't do any extra damage. Well, what is it? On ahead, this uh, and you can cause the fire to leap from a target to a different creature of your choice. Equal to your spellcasting ability modifier. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <clears throat> um, it's got to be. A, is it adjacent within? F See within five feet of it. Okay, so there's unless you're do causing the damage to go on inhalathor. Unfortunately, it's not going to jump to anybody. Um, but you can still hit him. 
So go ahead and attack with your quarter staff. Is that the accurate number? Yes, that is the accurate number. Well, you hit him. All right. Uh, are you two handing this sucker? Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's the seven damage then. Uh, actually, either way, he's dead. He had like no hit points. So, how do you take this dude out? Just like two hands swing it right down between his, his shoulder and his neck. Just bop. Take him down right in front of the So door. he looks, he like fixes his glasses. He's like, oh, say, what's that? And just like you cave his skull in. A little bit of blood sort of getting flecked over onto um, one of the guys now wearing Inhalathor's robes. I love it for my turn. Uh, I'll just, sorry, I just, I got used to passing it on. I, I already did it. Uh, oh. Braggadocious, underpaid employee. Um, well, he's still in a life or death. He, he like looks at you, Binks. He's like, you, my arch nemesis. Fuck, this guy's actually pretty decent. Uh, six bludgeoning damage on Binks. <laughs> this, this guy's really, wow, he's really held his own. He needs, uh, he needs to get a promotion. All right, Gek. All right, I'm going to target him. I'm going to do my moon symbol. Miss. Oh. And then as an action. One second. I'm that going... moon sickle. You got a plus two. It's a plus one. That's a plus three. Yeah. And it's... Okay, it's not finesse. So you're using a strength. What's your strength score? Plus one. You should be attacking with more than what you did. Oh, you're not set as proficient. That's why. You missed a plus two. Still, still not enough, but now we know that you just weren't hitting with enough. I fixed right, it. Perfect. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. And then... Spells? Is it my spells? No, it's features. I'm gonna do the bomb. Oh, I better target the right person. And, and shh, shh, shh. Mm. Ooh, 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 ooh. five. That was uh, Banks. Banks, you get five healing back. And then I lose my turn. A roller coaster of health emotions. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this guy who, uh, you, um, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't like what you're trying to do to him, so he is, he's going to attack you back. Oh, my rolls. My rolls. All right. That is three bludgeoning damage as he just sort of, like, kneecaps you a little bit, just like, kunk. Actually, three damage, we're gonna say that's, like, funny bone, like, he in the back of the elbow. You get that, like... Pins and needles, like stinging feeling in your hand. I start doing the Peter Griffin <sighs> until my next turn. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Inhale, uh, I'm gonna step over this guy who just got his neck sliced. Yep. And I'm gonna hit this guy with the butt of my sword to try to knock him out. Uh, all right. Oh, not quite yet. Oh, this guy's a fucking champ. <laughs> she like <laughs> hit him in the head. There's like blood going down, and this this like random dude in in like nothing but like undies and a white shirt with a tie and stuff is is starting to look all um like he, he's all bloodied and beaten up. He's got like this diehard feeling going on about him now, and he just looks at you and he's like, "You next." I love how Geth is... I've seen Geth murder two people in one turn, and us four have managed to murder one person in more time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kill him. Oh, sorry, you, you were done? I'm so used to passing your guys' turn off. Uh, when yeah, inhale sorry, throw, when you're done, through. go ahead and pass it on. There we go. Banks. <laughs> All right, we, we, we have got to end this, dude. My God. I am immortal. Uh, 
Oh, finally, you take him down. How are you taking down this absolute beast god of a receptionist? So we're going to try and hit him with a short sword, and he somehow blocks it again, but he starts getting all cocky, and then I just pull a dagger out and shove it right in his throat. <laughs> so yeah, he like takes it too, and it's one of those slow deaths that he looks you in the eyes and goes, Curse your betrayal, but if anyone should kill me, I'm glad it was you. And he like kisses you on the cheek, then dies. <laughs> Does it cost me an action to cry? No, you can do it for free. No. She's no, one of those no. 80s like, no! <laughs> Why did you make me do this to you? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'll keep passing people's turns off. When you're done, go ahead and pass it off. If you're doing anything else, let me know. You can move. You've got bonus actions. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, can I, can I move how, just the stack can still move 30 feet or you got 30 feet. Plus you got your cat thing where you can like double your movement once before having to reset it. So you can like move 60 feet and then you're a rogue. You could dash for another 60 feet. You've already used your actions. So you can't get another 60 feet. So yeah, you can move anywhere we're from, we're just going to move to right here. Just so we can see what's going 30, on 30, 30 feet, feet. Sorry. Yeah, he, he can move, he can move like, oh, he can move a hunt. Yeah, he can move, no, 120 feet, sorry, because it's 30, 30, 30, 30. If he, wa if he wants oh. to, as a fucking kitty rogue. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I like it. All right. There we go. Uh, all right. The sophisticated underpaid bandit. Uh, still looking at Eurothemos uh, and Geth. He's, he's, he's got all these high AC targets around him. Well, he's, he's alone. He can't run away, so he's going to give her. Damn it. So just uh, <laughs> Eurothemos, you easily just kind of like bash it away as, as he comes in with the truncheon. Um, he's like, oh, such brute force. No finesse about you. Geth. His back okay, is like turned uh, to you. Do, 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 do. He can get an attack of opportunity if he wants it. Uh, he will. You're like, aha, okay. you have sealed your own. Oh, I missed. Oh, oh, he's already gone. He like started to do a speech before he hit you. And by the time he finished, you were already in the other room. <laughs> uh, okay. So uh, I used my action to dash, obviously. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go. So that was 50. And then we're going to go 55, 60. Okay. Uh, this guy here is going to get an attack of opportunity on you. Oh, man, hit me. The valiant one, he's like, <laughs> I will protect. No, I didn't. Uh, and uh, that's my turn. Uh, all right. Uh, in that case, he's going to he's gonna come in on you. He's like, I, I said, I will protect those around. No, didn't do it again. <laughs> Just like slashing off of his armor. He's like, punk, punk. Oh, you're a tough boy. Didn't mean to assume your gender. Okay, next guy. Rye, underpaid employee. He's like slamming in the door. You hear, you hear like, ah, let me go, ah, 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 let me go, ah! And you see like the door is like locked and bolted and it says emergency fire exit. Uh, that's his turn. <laughs> You're off the most. That seems right. Oh God, so there's like a big, huge locked door he just ran into? Um, you know, there's someone in the other room that's like, there's like someone banging on doors or something like that. Hmm. Which way do I go? Well, I have to take out this guy because, well, my first attack just didn't do it. So I'm going to grab my spear. Okay. My hatchet. I Sorry, my hatchet. Yeah. Since last time didn't do it. I'm just going to take a heavy swing down um, onto this little guy's poor little head. Like split nade eight melon. Split in the right melon. Oh, let's see that damage. Ooh. Uh, oh, oh, this, this guy only had four maximum hit points. Yay. <laughs> I hit him a bit hard. He has been cleft in twain. <laughs> For sure. 
just like right down, like smooth too, like no jagged edges. Edges like this guy was w remarkably not well put together. The viscosity of this human being was relatively low. He's just slight as like jello. Like what? What was this man's skull made out of? Just. <laughs> I'm just gonna laugh and say, mm, like butter. <laughs> like butter. <laughs> butter. I can't believe it's not real employees. And then I'm going to admit her. Alright. Robert. I'm gonna stroll up. Just cast infestation on him from here. A buggy swarm. Kill him with bees! Think alike. With bees! Oh, he wasn't oh. targeted. One second. Uh, he is save constitution. That's a fail. Go ahead and roll your poison damage. Oh, shit. Well, that's almost max. He only had like one hit point left. So, yeah. Uh, what, what takes him out and how? The buggy swarm just comes up, just starts eating in front of, in front of Gek there. He just falls over. He's like, ah! Oh, okay. so like oh, this, like insects come out of the receptionist desk and start to eat him alive. He's like, oh no! I told you to put away your yogurt. No! Ah! <laughs> With oh, my tongue, I start eating the insects. No. <laughs> Gek slim. All right, now that all these people are dead, let me see. I got no idea what's going on. <laughs> Finally, right? <laughs> right, so I'm gonna kind of come up this way and take a peek. Oh, more dead bodies, okay. Um. All right, I don't know what else is going on, so I guess another 15 feet to there. You do see the, yeah, the Valiant employee to the, the west of you. Other than that, you don't really see anyone else. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go to my left and uh, for a bonus action I can dash right for another thirty. Uh, oh, if you're a rogue, you can. Oh, okay. Then uh, that's I'm a rogue gonna, thing. Or a monk if you spend a key point. Inhale, Thor. Okay, I'm just gonna hop over the desk here and like look through some of the drawers. Are there any like papers or anything I can snatch from here? Um, there's a doodle pad just says I hate my boss over and over again um, a stack of undelivered mail that's been labeled as delivered um, a half-eaten uh, sandwich and an opened yogurt with some ants in it uh, and some promotional material for Flanberry's post office saying Flanberry's choose us your mail will get there eventually I'm going to take the stack of undelivered mail that's marked delivered. Okay. And that's going to be me. All right. Binks. All right. So I can move. You said 60 feet? Well, you can move 30 normally. You got. You still haven't used your kitty cat movement yet. That's another 30. And then if you want a bonus action dash, you can move another 30. And you could action dash for another 30. <laughs> So can I use one uh, a dash at the beginning here and get you up can here use your cat guy? movement? So you move thirty, you move your cat movement for another thirty. So you can move sixty right now without using any actions. All right, I, I, I don't use... think it's a bonus action. I think you can just do. Let me double check. Feline agility. Uh, yeah, you just use it. It doesn't cost you anything. All right, so we're gonna use old feline agility and get up here. Sixty feet. And we're going to see the guy trying to get out the fire door, and we are going to shoot at him with our short bow. Okay. And when you use your cat thing, I picture it as, like, if you've ever owned a cat, you know when the cat gets, like, the the, the rips, and there's all of a sudden it's, like, <laughs> their claws, like, just giving her on the hardwood floor. <laughs> mm, yo. Just get down on all fours and just start sprinting. <laughs> Poofed up tail. So you're, you're shooting the dude over at the door? Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, I forgot to target him. Oh, no worries. Uh, 15 is his armor class at the moment because you're shooting through friendly targets, but it is, uh, so Defender wins. He does not get hit. All right, and we're going to end turn there. Yes. Uh... Yeah, Binks has this guy. I'm going to walk away from this dude. The valiant one is like, come back, I shall apprehend you. Oh, no, missed again. Oh, you suck, man. You suck so hard. No, I know. It's why I'm not an adventure. Uh, and I'm going to try and grapple this rye uh, underpaid employee. Okay. He's like, fingers are bloodied from scratching at the door. Like, and because it's the window beside it, it's one of those tiny windows and he can't fit through. He's packed on a few burrito pounds over the years. So he's just like, yeah. oh, no! Oh, and he's like scrabbling at the door as you're grabbing at him. Um, I'm actually going to give you advantage because he just, he, he's not like fighting per se. He's just like, no! That's better. Uh, and then he gets, he gets a skill. Um, wh what are you better at? <laughs> oh, oddly enough, these guys are better at athletics than acrobatics. They're stronger than they are swift. Not with that, they aren't. <laughs> So like Geth like grabs him by his tie, wraps it around his hand, and like lifts him, like hefts him over his shoulders, like, all right, now you're gonna tell Oh god. Oh yeah. <laughs> tie tie. <laughs> I like loosen the slack enough so that he can breathe. But like I'm gonna be hefting him like he's a sack of, all of, right. of potatoes. Okay, well um... so if you wanna attach him to me as well. <laughs> Attached. Jesus. All right. Um, so we're going to move on to the valiant underpaid employee. He's going to swing around to the Binks person being like, Haha, you shall be apprehended. Oh, holy oh, shit, I hit somebody. Oh, gosh, that really hurt you. I'm sorry. Six points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, and then he actually like looks around like as if there's like other people there. He's like, oh, guys, I actually hit someone this time. Oh! All right. Uh, Rye underpaid employee. Uh, he's just going to try. He's going to like, he's scrabbling the break free. And it's one of the, it's not one of those like he has any skill doing so. It's that, like he's like punching and kicking like an angry five-year-old that doesn't want to give you what's in his hand style of fighting. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So it is... Uh, uh, helps if I'm in the right right tool, right? Or not? Or, or not. Oh, because it's just because he's attached to you. One second. Yeah. I actually have to unattach him. Realistically, the more he struggles, the more he chokes himself out. You think he's going to carotene himself? He might. Yeah. All right. Uh, no, I didn't mean to do an attack. No, he is doing a skill athletics. Oh, my God. I mean, technically, you should roll. Actually, I don't even think you can roll three. So no, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's just like, stop, no! But he's completely ineffective against you. Uh, you're with the most. You're sort of in there, just looking around at the office. I was going to... I'm actually just going to open up this last door. Okay. To leave nothing undone. And I'm going to venture inside. Just to, I just want to make sure everything's done, because we did come here for a hostage. So I just want to make sure. Yeah, no, it's good to look around. You never know. You're trying to go through a wall. You got to go up to the door first and then through. I think you're if you're trying to move with the line. Oh, it's just a little tiny office. Yeah, just looks like a little office. It does look like a nicer desk than anything else you've seen so far. This is probably where the, like, the main manager or leader would normally sit. Do I see, like, peering through the door, anything catching my eye? Um, not off the bat. There's a few little baubles. There's, like, one of those little, like, like sipping bird things on the desk and a little, like, the, the little, like, kinetic clacker balls things. Just, like... Um, other than that, the desk seems pretty cleared off at the moment. I'm 
just gonna nod and make my way back to my friends and check this other door here as well. Okay. It's really not working the movement, I don't know why. I apologize. Oh no worries. Is it control or alt? Uh control the Control to aim it and then a space bar where you're holding it to actually move you along the line. Okay. And while you're holding control, you can like click to make paths. So I've moved 30 feet now and I've okay. used all my actions and I am good. I'm gonna have my turn. All right, do it up. Rubber. Just gonna move up this way. Okay. Dodging the bodies. Oh my lord. I think that's 25. That's 25. Let's move there for 30. Okay. Actually, oh, wow. you can technically move there for 25. Cool. You go from there. So you can move five feet more if you want. Glancing around the room. Um, could I choose my other action to move up or if you want to creep up to here scoop press kick excuse me so 30 i'm a scoozy there we go i'm a scoozy i'm a scoozy get slim all right All right, so Geth, you're uh, keeping that guy alive, correct? Yeah, yeah. aren't you proud of me, Mom? All right, we need to we need to question somebody because I didn't see a boss. Uh, and he's now actively urinating. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm gonna cast. Let me target the right guy, I guess. Um, infestation. Infestation! Oh, that's that just sucks for him. Okay, go ahead and roll your poison damage. Six. How many health did he have? He's still alive! Not being completely eaten, but uh, yeah, the, the bugs are chewing away to him. I mean, he just seals his resolve going, I will apprehend you! And then I will use a bonus action and cast Healing Spirit on my good... Healing spirit. So before now, can I use my feature still of the bomb, my last bomb on him as well? I think that's a bonus action, isn't it? Is it? Oh, yep, that is. Yeah, so you already used your bonus action. But at least Binks will get three healing back. Um, I'm not sure why it rolled twice, but you get three healing back at the moment. And then at the beginning of his turn, he'll get more. And then you guys can, like, conga line through it, which is great. Inhalathor. Can I, uh, just push this body here off the desk and then, like, sit on the chair and hang out and yeah. kind of work here? Yeah, you just kind of, like, sit down. Just bodies everywhere. That's me. <clears throat> Thanks. All right, we're going to end the Valiant one. Doesn't he get healed? Oh, I do get healed. Oh yeah, you get healed. Um, a what is it? A D six? D six. Go ahead and roll a D six. <laughs> you get five. Almost good as new. <laughs> And don't worry, right, quick, quick, you'll get your one. player complication when the guards show up. Oh, oh. get him. Fuck yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> Love to see it. All right, we're just going to pull our sword out and we're going to mm. shove it right through his eyeballs, pushing him all the way to the ground and uh. literally just pin him to the floor. Oh, too bad you didn't get your sneak attack damage on that one. That would have been beautiful. Anywho, you killed him in the right place. So that's nice.
Uh, as the blood in him soaks into the ground around you, it seems to infuse and activate some sort of giant runic circle that actually expands underneath your um, your feet. Shit. Do you want anything else? Bonus actions, movements? Uh, we are I, going to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to end combat there. Um, there's okay. no way this one dude is fighting back against you. If so, he kept struggling, I was going to knock him out with some dual damage anyway. Um, yeah, he's... Eventually, he just tires, and he just he just kind of gives up. He's weeping in his own urine. <laughs> which, you guess, is probably similar to every other day here anyways, but whatever. All right. Um, do you want to do what happens to them first before I question this guy? <clears throat> oh, nothing happens to them. It's just there's a rune circle there of some kind. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to drag this guy. Oh, he's not. Nobody's attached to me anymore. Uh, I guess the, uh, I'll, I'll, like, discard the dead guy. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, this Rai employee. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look first and be like, what's the circle on the floor? Oh, um, oh, oh, well, that's, that's the way into the sacrifice room. It's the elevator. Okay, and, uh, and, uh, and so that's active, so if we, uh, step on it, we'll be able to get to the sacrifice room? Oh, you just step on it and say, sacrifice room, please. Okay, and, uh, where is our navigator? Ooh. No, oh, what was, what, somebody remember their, their name? I don't remember. I work in the mail room. Uh, it was the per next person to be sacrificed, I believe. I, d I don't. I've never been allowed in the sacrifice. I just sort mail. What, what's your What's your name, kid? Um, Susan. Well, Susan, uh, you're gonna you're gonna find out what they do in the sacrifice room today. Today's your lucky um, day. Oh. By the way, where's your boss? Uh, I'm assuming the sacrifice room. If he's not up here. Beautiful. Alrighty. Yep, let's go. Uh, does anybody need to heal up or anything before? Where's the rest of the team? Oh, I could yeah. use a few more heals, but I think I'll be good. I'm gonna whistle my bird in. Okay. Come with us. I don't know if we can fit, but it can try. Yeah, I mean, it's uncomfortable. It's a bird. It doesn't like crawling through here, and it's a, it's a giant bird, but it, it, it fits in. Um, uh, what, what's Eurythmos doing? On my way, I was gonna say on my way over. Can I use my second wind ability to heal up? Yeah, yeah, sure. We're out of combat, so it's it's whatever abilities you have. Go ahead, go ahead, use them. You can even take a like if you want to do something like a short rest or something. You could. Um, there's probably guards in the way, so you know there's that. But that's up to you. Yeah, I think we should take. Yeah, yeah I'm, I don't I'm literally just gonna use my second wind and head to the portal. Okay. Can I uh, convince? the guy to work with us. Yeah. To work with you? Uh, yeah, well, I don't uh, know. Can you? Try it. That means I only get four healing, right? Like, I want to get yeah. Four. Yeah, you only have four. You rolled a one. Yeah, what would All you, what right, would so you say gonna, to this dude? I'm going to say to this dude, be like, you're, we're obviously going to kill you. Uh, maybe eat you. Oh. Uh, so instead oh. of that, okay. why don't you work with us? And you won't kill me or eat me. Do you need uh, any mail sorted? Or anything? I'll do anything. Through. I will literally do anything. I'm going to look well, at him and say, I'm your boss. Anything. Just, you just let All me right. know. My life is yours. All right, Susan, you're part of the crew. If you survive the sacrifice room, you're coming with us. Oh. One of us. One of us. <laughs> Good. <laughs> one of us. So you'll with that, you... Oop, sorry, go ahead. You'll get to meet Slim Jimbo. He's, uh, he's all hands. <laughs> oh, God, Geth. <laughs> I'm going to tower over giggling and patting on the back. <laughs> all right. So... With that, I'm assuming you're all sort of getting to the circle, including with the, the big old burb. Um, well, both big old burbs. And then teleporting to the sacrifice room? Sacrifice room. Sacrifice room. Sacrifice room. Okay. Yep. 
It sounds so metal. Oh, oh yeah. I was like, why can't I click on him again? Oh yeah, because I keep attaching to you and then I can't click on him individually. I, <laughs> I love how we're about to get another minion. <laughs> uh, yeah. All the minions. I'm here for it. Uh, yeah, I'm along with it. I, I like the it. idea of collecting a minion from every uh, adventure. Okay. Well, I'm 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 minions fight. All right, guys, this is what we've been saving you for. Now go! <laughs> the crew's just a hundred strong. Sacrifice. <laughs> right, yeah, because then they'll take it to like half health and then we'll see what we okay. can do. Okay, so, um, going through the portal, it's weird. You, you seem to vanish initially from this portal. Um, everything going sort of kaleidoscope for a moment. And next thing you know, you're stepping out of another portal in a wall. You don't remember moving forward, but you somehow did at some point. And then as you do, you find yourself in this octagonal room. Um, it's got a, a decent ambient light just about everywhere. So it doesn't look like anything is dark per se, but there is a definite red light source coming from some sort of podium or, or raised altar or something in the middle of the room. And standing there is this, is this wizardly individual, um, Rad um, Radathor. We're gonna use this picture for now. Oh, like, oh looks powerful. Ooh. Um, it's got a bit, a bit of an upgrade. Uh, and to the south of the room, if you look all the way to the south of the room, uh, the Bravor, uh, you see a kitty lady. Oh, she's gorgeous. Save you, kitty. Binks is in love. Come down there, Binks. <laughs> Maybe we could like trade him the hat for the. Um, so as you imagine how cute the kittens would be. As you enter, um, the mage, the wizard who is floating ever so slightly above the ground, just like a couple centimeters off the ground, looks at you and goes, "Oh, hello! Welcome to the sacrifice room. Are you our new sacrifice?" No, uh, we're here for our navigator. Oh, this is your navigator. Well, she's my current sacrifice. Would you like her back after I'm done? Uh, we'll take, we'll be taking her back now. Uh, and we're going to take this little fella, Susan, as well. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's going to happen. You're all probably going to die a horrible, horrible death. It is the post office after all. <laughs> uh, I don't remember asking. I ready a spell. Um, well, with that, we're actually going to hop straight into combat. Oh, hell yeah. I was about to say, I want to yeah. get it. Yeah, Radithor is ready. ready for this shit. Yeah. Someone's uh, going to do something. And you know what? We are, we're going to, we're going to rename this dude. One second. Oops. Jesus. Holy fuck. Come on. Okay. You're now being <laughs> renamed. <laughs> Susan. You still better did better than me. <laughs> uh, Susan and Rathor. Uh, this is an insulting initiative. What? Rathor of course gets. Oh go. yes. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh You're fuck shit. Blasted. Oh shit fuck. Boss fight motherfuckers. Uh, except he's not doing much right now. Um, he is, however, going to get one extra every level. Yeah, one extra dart. All right. All right. Um, so he's going to do this. Um, one second. Is it? How did I program this? Is it doing one? It's doing one. Perfect. So one, two, three, four. Oh, what? Uh, as he just spreads his hands out and four missiles flies forth from his four dominant fingers, and it was with like a pew, 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 um, hitting Eurythmos, Gexlim, Geth, and Inhalathor, because he's just working from left to right, um, for the damage you see in the chat. Can I use Hellish Rebuke? 
I also would like to use Hellish Rebuke. Uh, yeah. Well, d get your dam get the damages done first before we forget, and then we will uh, make sure everyone gets hurt. Ouch, Charlie. Ouch, Charlie bit my finger. So Yurthmos and Halithor take your damage, please. Silver plates, mercy buckets. All right, beer number two. This is a two beer night. Uh, your most did you take damage? Yep, it should have registered now. There you go. There you go. All right. Uh, so, uh, yes, you can use your hellish rebukes. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Shh. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay, that is... Oh. Target. Let me see here. Uh, DC 13 deck save. You're too close to inhale, so I understand. Damn. Uh, that is uh, going to make it. Is it save or suck or save for half? Uh, it's, still, it's save for half, so you still, take, you still take some damage. So go ahead and roll damage. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, that was that was uh, twenty six. Jesus, holy fuck! Yeah. <laughs> thirteen. Almost max. Oh my god! So that's just thirteen though, because it's half, right? Yeah, he took thirteen. Yeah, but he's got okay. a second one coming at him. Yes, he does. Okay, so that is a uh, that is a uh, that is that is a good save. Oh fuck yes, that's a good save. Oh. <laughs> It's so only three damage. That train scares me every time. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, okay, so he, he hits you and then all of a sudden like fire, fire, like, oh! Because, uh, yeah, he didn't have absorb elements. Gex Slim. I'm going to moonbeam him. Oh, hell yeah. That is a well, fail. He's going to take all me. five right off the bat. Finish the job. Uh, so we're all ten. Uh, that brings this down to zero. Hell yeah. Moving him off. Setting this up for a second form. Oh, of course. This isn't even my final form. So with that, inhale Thor, um, the moonbeam melting him in. Suddenly a thing springs up around him, some sort of field, and he begins to metamorphize. And um, inhale Thor actually begins to show his real colors. And now you have inhale uh, sorry, not inhale in Radathor. Radathor the Postalich. Uh, Oh, fuck. The postal witch? The postal witch. Um, and add him there. Uh, you guys pissed him off. So he was, I'm going to keep him at the same one. So 16. The initiative value. Four. Whoops. Four. Bloop. And then we can remove Rathathor. There we go. Uh, and he now seems to be in some sort of protected bubble, and instantly, and instantly, and you can go ahead and keep doing your healing thing. Um, oh, okay. I was like, oh, I did that too early. <laughs> Let's see here. That was for death, by the way. Springing up out of the ground are mailbox mimics. Because why not? Awesome. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> All right, Gek. Uh, doing anything else? Nope. That is it. Just waiting for you to finish. Inhale a Thor. All right, so do I still have my giant eagle? Did he get through the portal? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I'll drag your giant eagle on. He goes on your turn anyway, so. 
Uh, bees. Oh, and the, the ceilings here uh, look to be about 30 feet high. Awesome. So there's some room for him to fly around and shit. Um, we'll say he's behind you, actually. I'm going to send him up to attack. Can I move him? You should be able to now. He has multi-attack, so he's going to attack once with his beak and once with his talons. Okay, as soon as you attack, I'll let you know now. It seems to slide off some sort of field of force that's around him as he's changing into this undead creature. A field of force? Yep. Oh, God. Almost like it's a boss encounter with stages. <laughs> <laughs> So unfortunately, the, the the eagle goes up and starts clawing at it, but it doesn't seem to do anything. And you see, you see the eagle's talons even like slightly chip on this impenetrable force field. I'm just gonna keep him up there harassing, and then I'm gonna whip an ice knife at one of these mailboxes. Okay. While he's transforming, couldn't the eagle pick up the prisoner, and we could just. The prisoner also seems to be in some sort of force field. If you look, there's uh, there's like an effect over her. It's like the DM thought of this. <laughs> I'm not sure what just happened there. Uh, the ice knife. So you gotta make the, the attack first. That's why it's usually easier if you target somebody when you do it. So you gotta make a spell attack. Uh, which one are you targeting? Uh, this kind-hearted. Kind-hearted. Okay, so what, what we'll do here? One second. I can I can do a thing. I can do a thing. Don't Thanks. consume. Don't do that. There we go. Then if you roll it, and he does this, and it's piercing and cold. Okay, so you hit him, Dude. and he failed his save. Uh, and he takes the explosion damage as well, right? But yeah, the target and then each creature. So he ends up taking the piercing damage and the cold damage. He takes 10 damage. That is enough to take that mailbox out. Just the ice knife going straight through it, freezing it solid and then shattering it to the ground. Beautiful. That's going to be me. Uh, Susan hugs this wall as hard as he can. You're the most. I'm going to rush over here and smack this with a hand axe on its top, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mailbox that, like, when it opens up, there's teeth and a big tongue inside. Okay, I'm going to smack it on its side, on its right hand side. Okay. Do, like a side slash. That was, yeah, that was too good. Uh, 17 will definitely hit. That is seven points of damage. Um, that's... Why did I do that? Uh, seven. Uh, one second, though. Uh, there's a chance. DC is five plus the damage taken. Um... What is it? It's a con save? Oh, con save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save. Constitution save. Oh, didn't make it. It dies. So you go up and you just sort of stab right through this thing. It vibrated my hands too. My hands hurt. Mm -hmm. Alright. And hey, doing anything else? And then from there, can I move again? So I only move 15 feet? Yep. I'm yep. going to actually just move up a tiny bit more. Oh, yeah, think of movement as more of a resource rather than an actual action. You can always split it up however you want. There you go. Here we are, my turn. Binks. Right, uh, we are going to rush over to the ugly mailbox 
And we are going to get our short sword out and attempt to pierce it from the top. Unfortunately, six is not enough. So despite it being fleshy in nature, it's also sort of metallic and there's this like clang and it's kind of sticky at the same time. It's just enough that it really fucks up your, your hit with the short sword. And then we are going to end. Geth. Geth's gonna look back at Susan and go, hey, Susan. Oh, Don't fuck up. Then he's gonna fuck it. He's like God. sitting in the water, hugging his knees. It's like a ring All of right. water around it. Uh, so I'm gonna swing at this guy here, and if. I hit, I'm gonna divide. Okay. That is, that is not a hit. That's that one. It's, it's sad. It's sad, sad day. It's sad day. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's my turn. That's, 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 all, that's all I can do. <laughs> all right, that's all she got. Go and pass it on. We got, we got a rye mailbox mimic. Maybe one of these things can finally attack. Um. Uh, what, what damage do you do with this shit? They don't do a lot of damage. Oh, not a lot of damage at all. You know what? You were better off doing this. Okay, so instead of coming up and thumping you with its lid, it is instead going to do its high-speed letter attack. Uh, slicing you with a sharp letter for th uh, three... Uh, it should be slashing damage, not piercing damage, but three damage. Eurythmos. Alright. Gonna take a trois damage. Is a letter like just like cuts your cheek. Like that little rivulet of blood just running down your cheek. Just like How dare you make me bleed my own blood? <laughs> uh Robert. Seeing him just hit you with the most kind of cast a magic missile that far. It's like 120. Oh, uh, magic missiles are good. I, you can hit anything in this map with magic missile, I do believe. It's 120 feet. Yeah, the, the entire thing is only 105 feet across. Oh. Target him. Uh, and target is an alt. Alt click something to target it. If you wish. Five damage. Let's see if it let's see if the reroll thing works now. Or if it's still broken. Still broken. Okay. <laughs> One second. Because you get two more missiles. So you can deal a total of 11 damage on that uh, wiry dude, which is good. He actually had a fair amount of hit points for one of them. So that does take him out, though, with all three missiles. Uh, no rolls, no nothing. Oh, uh, mailbox finally gets to go as well. Lid thump. Walk. Three bludgeoning damage on Binks as this thing just like a, the lid comes down like right, right on like uh, I'd say like the collarbone. Hear a bit of a crunch sound. Oof. Oh fuck. It's gonna hurt later. The rotator cuff. All right. It stings a bit. <sighs> Thanks. Oh, uh, a luring mailbox. Oh, you're right next to Geth. Yep. Lid thump for you, mother. Like uh, they don't have anything else, right? No, they're super basic. Yeah, basic. Uh, that is a miss. All right. And then moving on to Radithor the Postal Lich. I'm going to get rid of his force field effect. That is gone. Um, however, that with his force field effect going away, that means the moonbeam actually works now. So uh, it was a... Is it a constitution save? I think so. I think so. One second. Let me, let me see. Con save. Yeah. Con save or 2 2 d 10 Okay. <clears throat> can save. Uh, and actually, one thing I gotta check. Okay, no, he doesn't have 
anything special. So he takes 2d10 damage. Go ahead and roll 2d10 for me, please. And then just 2d10s? Yes, please. 12. Okay. Uh, so, as his bonus action, well, oh, sorry, as his action, first of all, he's gonna, like, get the fuck out of dodge. Then as bonus action, he is going to absorb a mailbox mimic and heal himself up. And then he is going to do a thing. What is he going to do? Oh, oh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Let's, uh, let's see here. Eeny me, you know, I don't know who we're gonna pick, so we're, we're gonna use this random PC. I chose Binks, apparently. Saving throw, silver plates. Go. Yes. Ouch. Fuck. Binks dies tonight. Uh, okay. What the fuck are you doing, Binks? Radithor is your best friend, and in fact, he tells you, attack the others. Protect me, and you know what? That just makes sense because Radithor's your best bud. You should be attacking the others on your turn. Ah, uh, you're charmed. I want to do as you command. Uh, I believe you're gonna make a save on the end of each of your turns, though. Uh, Good if the octopus when you need him, inhaler. Charm for. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, shit, this one's beefy. No, it's only Charm Person that does that. Charm Monster, you don't get that. Uh, if... Fighting it... Oh, sorry, G roll again. You actually have advantage. It makes a ways and say it does so with advantage if your, your commands are fighting it. So actually, roll again. You might you might actually make it after all. Uh, what kind of save is it? Uh, wisdom saving throw, please. With advantage? Uh, no, just roll it again, because your first roll was a one. Ah, uh, fuck. Shit oh, on yeah. a biscuit. Okay. Can we just ignore I said that? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. He, so he, he starts to lure you, and you can feel your mind tugging slowly, but you steal yourself away from it. You don't actually follow his commands. He's not your friend. You remind yourself he's not your friend. No one's here is really your friend. Get fucked, bud. <laughs> Get fucked. Um, and then he is... Uh, you know what? He's... How far did he move? He's got a decent movement. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Let's do this. He moved 25, and he's got 40. So he can move another 15. Yeah, so he's going to move 15 up. He's now hovering 15 feet above the ground. Because three dimensions. Yuck. Okay, so for my turn, I'm going to use my action to move the moonbeam over him again. Okay. Oops. And then I will use my bonus action. Uh, who should I? I guess I will use it on. With most, the healing ward. All right, so it looks like you're at the most. You get four healing back from the healing word. Thank you very much, my friend. No problem. So I assume it's bird. Bird is the word. Uh, and that moves it on to inhale with the war. Okay, I'm going to move up here. You have here to take beside. damage from the moonbeam, or does that happen? No, it happens on his turn. At the beginning of his turn, he'll take it immediately. I'm just going to move up beside Girth and be like, the mailbox might make good crew. And then snap my fingers, send my eagle over and try to attack this dude. All right. <laughs> eagle goes over, uh, also goes up. Uh, what's his AC? That misses, unfortunately. 
All right, then he's coming in with the Talon. That misses awesome a lot worse. Wizard. Shit, and that's me. Does he only get the one? What's the attack? He got the two attacks. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's two attacks. Okay. I didn't know if yeah, it was like Beak Talon Talon, but it's just Beak and one Talon. Uh, Susan. Um, okay, well, you t you told him not to fuck up. He kind of thinks it's his life on the line, so he does one of those like. And just like like a mad, fucking madman rushes the the mailbox with his little truncheon. <laughs> um, fuck hits it. Yes. And Let like just go. like I mean he, he can't take it oh, out in one shot like you guys can, but he just like Rah! crack. Yeah. Oh, and then he just kind of curls into the fetal position. Fucking Susan. <laughs> yeah. Get him. I'm so scared right now! <laughs> we picked the best crewmate. <laughs> You're the most. <laughs> inhale with or does not inhale. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to come over here with my fr I, um, I don't want to get too close just in case so I'm going to distance myself a bit but I'm going to come back over here okay kind of protective stance with my friends and in my turn waiting to see how the next move plays out all right all right while watching this floating wizard being attacked and dodging an eagle yeah binks all right, uh, let's see. We are going to. We're going to move to. Man, what's the range on my sh cross? My short. Oh. Oh, you can hit him. Okay. Uh, we're not. We're not even going to move up then. We're just going to take a shot at him with our short bow. Yep. Oh, let me target him real quick. That hits. Oh, yeah. You get your sneak attack damage as well because you have a friend, the eagle, that's threatening him as well. Oh, so I need to go ahead and uh, roll your sneak attack damage. Your sneak attack. It's not. Oh, it's not in there. Hold on. Should be like right on the front. Like your your main attributes page, I have it favorited for you. Just a sneak oh, yeah, attack. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. That's a little extra damage. Sneak attack was more than the actual attack. All right. <laughs> so yes, your your arrow pierces through um, into the into the light. Actually, like like going along his now undead looking side. What is that DJ Dip Med? DJ Dip Med? Oh, I see from the people in there. Ah, count. All right. Uh, doing anything else, Binks? Um. So. Um. Oh, I was looking at some here. Oh, and after you hit him, like he like looks at you, pisses. Like he has no eyes anymore, but he has like eye holes with glowing bits at it. And he's like, "You're next." Uh, well, of course I am. <laughs> I got a healing spell back up right uh, before. I know, it. it seems like the... the... <laughs> uh, can I use... Uh, as my bonus action, can I use Eye for Detail to see if there's any weaknesses on him? or Eye for Detail. Uh, I forget what that does. Let's see. Let's see. Let's take a look. Eye for Detail. You can use a bonus action to make a wisdom uh, spot a hidden object or make uh, an in to uncover or decipher clues. So it's usually more about environmental stuff, but yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll allow it. If you want to use your bonus action just to say a uh, perception or actually investigation, do an investigation for me. See if you can discover any hidden clues about him. So uh, investigation skill check, please. Why the hey not? Oh my. Okay. <clears throat> um, well, 
you do see that um, he is primarily doing his spell casting through an amulet that he's wearing. That seems to be his spell casting focus. It's really the only, I'd say, thing you're going to get out of that. That All seems right. to be a big thing for him channeling his power. So we're gonna we're gonna scream at everybody that uh, hey he's got an amulet on we probably ought to focus on that. You did see yeah. a glow when he absorbed that mimic as well, gaining health. And then we're going to uh, pass it over to Geth Vanderspoot and his wonderful zoo of menagerie of friends. Guess gonna look down at Susan and be like, "You got this, big guy." I don't know. Um, I'm really unsure of myself. I believe in you. Oh. Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, it's a simple melee weapon. I'm gonna hand him my Tetsubo. Okay. All right. Your Tetsubo. Got it. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's a reflavored um, great club. Oh, I see, I see. Here, I will. Uh, I won't remove it from you. I'm just going to copy it over to him for now because I'm assuming you'll take yep. it back after. So, yep. Ooh, there, you little, uh, there you go, little guy. Try that. Oh, it's so big. Um, and then he's going to move past the mailbox. Hey, Sophie, Mister says a golden. Okay, uh, mailbox is going to get its uh, lid thump. Nope. Bing, bing. Yeah, I'll get up right in front of him. Just running D and D games. That's all. All right. Uh, and I am. I'm going to look at him and uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to turn around behind me. Actually, no, no, you know, what? I'm going to look at him and say, oh, you're, you're worried about these little guys. You take me on, big boy. Um, and that will end my turn. I'll get to you. All right. An ender. Robert. I'm going to creep along up over here. Okay. That's 30. Scoop past pinks. Then uh, I'm going to cast Magic Missile, but level two. Get him, buddy. Do it. Uh, this fella here. Boom. Okay. Uh, you roll that. Uh, as a reaction, however, he casts the shield spell and takes no damage from your magic missile. He just blocks it with this force of shield, like force shield in front of him. Nice try. It's a wizard duel. That uh, sends my turn. Luring mailbox is going to attack Susan. Yeah, not Susan. Hang in there, Susan. Susan's just like he does automatic like shield, like holds up the new like Tetsubo that he has, and it just like bites on it, and just like it's got him on the ground, and he's like, oh, oh and it's there, like, <laughs> but nothing. Uh, it doesn't seem to have actually hurt him. Radathor. Uh, what is it? Is a that's a that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, one second, one second. No, I didn't want to do that. This, okay. right? Okay. Uh, so first of all, Radithor is moving. He's gonna get an attack of opportunity from the giant eagle. So go ahead and make an attack from the giant eagle against him. You get one attack. Wouldn't he take his moonbeam damage too? Oh yeah, sorry, moonbeam. Thank you for reminding me. Mr. Trigger. 
Uh, he'll de indeed take moon to be, he, So he, he takes, fuck, he takes 10 from the eagle. Holy shit. And yeah. go ahead and roll 2d10 for the moonbeam because he failed that too. Get him, Bobby. <laughs> Another eight from that. That was unpleasant for him. But then he's going to move here. Dropping down right in front of Robert. Uh, then he is going to... <clears throat> I don't like that. That's a lot of targets. Oh god. <laughs> no. <laughs> Please no. Oh, god. Go ahead and roll your saving no. throws in the list. What the Let's hell? Let's go. Is it half or is it a complete save? I think it's save for half. And I roll damage. Oh what? <gasps> Holy. Yeah, it's um, it's a save for oh, half. I uh, so okay, most damage? of you, not all of you saved. Okay, so, um, those of you that saved, we'll take 20 damage. Everyone else takes 41. Oh, gosh. Uh, Susan's dead. Six. I'm dead. Not Susan, dead. no. If you're not dead. dead, dead, you'd just be unconscious, whereas Susan has low enough hit points, he's just dead. <laughs> he's just dead. Fuck, we lost Susan. That was his one Six. big blast. I mean, you've almost taken him out, so. <laughs> oh, he's getting another boom, boom beam. But he's down on the ground. Uh, oh, and Gek, uh, Moonbeam, is that concentration? Yes, it is. Go ahead and roll a constitution saving throw for me, please. Actually, don't bother. There's no way you can make that. <laughs> the the Moonbeam is gone. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> I will then... Alright, I'm going to move... So yeah, so this blast of cold that just s pummels all the way through, destroying like basically the entire party in its path. Um, uh, Yurthmos, you took... Did you take your damage yet? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. So do I just put zero? You... Yeah, well, bring yourself down to zero uh, at the very least, so we know that your hit points are not 25. There you go. There you go. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like you missed with the knife. Yep. So you fling the knife out at him, but it ends up missing and just exploding against the wall. Higher up. Um, and then as a bonus, I will cast Healing Ward on myself. Oh, better target the right person. Do I do that? <laughs> or no, I can't do that. Never mind. Uh, yeah, you can't cast healing that. word, unfortunately. No. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Good call. And Good catch. I will end my turn. Uh, inhale a Thor. So here's the, here's the thing. When he did the cone of cold, um, I w he was doing it in such a way that he was he was preserving you for future sacrifices. So you're not dying yet per se. You're preserved. It's up to you whether you would like to make death saving throws or not. In a chance of getting that lucky roll to bring yourself up, you are already considered stable. Oh. Um. No, I think I'm just gonna chill. But uh, uh can my chill. bird do something? <laughs> um, I'm gonna chill out. Yes, your your eagle does not go away. Your eagle is still fine. Your eagle, eagle can do shit. So okay, oh. so I'm gonna send eagle into hack him up. And it generally follows the last orders that you gave it, and that was to fuck up the undead dude. So beautiful. Oh shit! Oh hell Man, yeah. this eagle's been super effective. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Get him, Bobby. Big bad guy. How's the eagle taking this fucker out? Just comes up one towel and, like, grabs his head and pulls him up, and then he, like, pecks at him with his beak a little bit while he's off the ground, then drops him and, like, you know how birds would do that repetitively a few times? Yeah, That's yeah. That's more or less what it looks like, just tearing him limb from limb, pushing him across the ground. Oh, 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 my hip bones. Oh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, eventually you, you tear it apart, this this thing falling apart in front of you. Um, those that are awake hear the why, how, um, before disintegrating into scattered bones, like all of his, his stuff still, like his, his body is still there. He's not disintegrated, but he is falling apart. Um, and with that, the field around 
Peter goes away. She is freed, and um, she's actually going to be going around and like reviving everybody. She's a skilled healer, and she has like a healer's kit on them. So everyone's going to be back up to one hit point. So you're all awake at the very least. Very nice. Um. Oh right. Who noticed the amulet? Somebody mentioned an amulet. I uh, noticed it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was Binks. Binks, what, what, what were you saying about this guy's amulet? He had a go amulet that was glowing when he absorbed that mailbox, and then again when he did his spells, it was glowing. Huh. And give me one moment here. It it didn't save. And every once in a while, it doesn't save the local loot. Should probably run his pockets. Oh, run everybody's pockets. Run everybody's pockets. Check these mailboxes. Uh, the mailboxes actually just sort of disintegrate. Damn. Uh, and Susan only had the two clubs on him, and one of which belongs to one of your dudes. Yeah, I'll go take that back and look down and be like, "Oh, Susan, I told you not." <laughs> Moment of you know. silence for Susan. Or Susan one did a good job for the minute there, at least. Um, okay. Uh, nope, that is not what I'm on. Okay. Items magical. Uh, where is it? There it is. Thank goodness for that. Maybe a way to call the, the ship. Here. It's that. It's got. I will be nice. One of those. Need three of those. And one of those. There we go, and he had some money on him. Uh, we're gonna say Boom. Missions, everyone can see. And show local loot. That's pretty cool. So we can automatically just do the split six ways for gold. Oh yeah, we like money. Uh, and then there's an extra like two gold, four silver, and one copper left that doesn't split evenly. I'd say give it to the eagle. <laughs> mm. Eagle definitely deserves it. I can't. I can't see the chest at all, but that's all right. Uh, you can't see in it. Uh, yeah, I can't even. I just I see a glowing circle right here, but I can't. There's no chest or nothing. Oh, okay. For, that's weird. You should be able to see. It. Every, everyone should be able to see it. It took a minute, but it came up for me. Maybe I can see it. this here. But I don't see anybody else here with me. Oh. I can see in the chest. It's just me in the chest, but like when I click off, I can see everyone now. Oh, yeah, it's just because you're, like, seeing things from, like, the point of view of the whatever chest. As long as you can double-click to see in the chest, or in the local loot, rather, then uh, you should be able to loot from it. The, the black gems are to loot an item. The white gems loot the entire stack of the items. But there should be enough for a healing potion of eat for each of you. Um, the rest of it is odd numbers. You might have to figure out who gets what. There's Rune of Second Chances, which would be good on, like, our most powerful people. There's two Runes of Second Chances. Yeah, the people at the front lines. And this uh, necklace here also kind of does the same thing. Honestly, yeah. I, I would put the Rune of Second Chances on people who don't have a lot of HP. Because, like, I mean... Like... Oh, go ahead. You should probably get what I was thinking. But well, I, I I mean in the I I, I it, it's really hard for people to hit me in the first place. 
Um, and I have, and I have, like, I can just self heal with lay on hands and stuff like that. Like, I, it, it should probably go to somebody who's more likely to go down faster. My HP is only 17. Yeah, you definitely should get one. <laughs> Mine's 21. Yeah, Bing's maybe take one too because you're always taking a lot of damage. I was gonna say, I think Robert went down twice. <laughs> He's a wizard. <laughs> you talking about the the thing of wound closure? The rune of second chances. Rune of second chances. Yeah. Oh, okay. I took one. Thank I took you. One. I took one too. And then whatever squishy person didn't get one should take that periaptive wound closure. I mean, I'm not necessarily squishy, but I'm not necessarily armored either. Well, yeah. well, <clears throat> while they're talking about this, can I like go back through the portal and go set myself back up at the desk? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you just start sitting sitting at the front desk. Um, actually, sorry, as you, no, sorry. As soon as you go through the portal, there's something we'll be dealing guards. with. There's oh, gonna okay. be guards everywhere. There's gonna be a plethora be... of guards. Uh, so you you went through oh, the portal because you called it. Do, do I still we... look like one of them? Yeah, you haven't changed your form. There's no like time no, on it. Can you take pink Susan's clothes? So there's gold oh, yeah. and stuff in here. Susan got obliterated in ice. Are, are we able to rest at all before we go into this fight? You seem to be in some sort of pocket dimension as far as you can tell. Um, you're not sure if other things can get in here with you or not. So, I mean, it, uh, that's up to you. If you want to rest, you can rest. I guess I'm just going to like grab the last of this stuff. Okay. Do it up. Yep. Um, and, uh, I don't know. We don't have like, we don't have like a party pool yet. So how does the gold split in there? How do you take the gold? Well, we are, he already split the gold for us. That's like the leftover gold. Oh, um, oh, yeah. so what you, I'm going well, to do You actually do, do have is... a party pot. It's the ship. You, oh, you... Uh, can you, can you put like the two, four and one in the party pot? Yeah, sure. Yeah, two. Cool. Mm-hmm. Four and one. Okay, I added it to the ship then. Thank you. Yeah, the the ship is basically acting as your party pod. Actually, I've, I'm I don't know why I've never used the vehicle character sheet before. It's super fucking handy. This is super cool. <laughs> oh, spellcasters! Uh, I, I forgot. Kind of forgot to mention this. We kind of got uh, ransacked, but uh, who needs a a, a spellcasting focus? I pulled, I pulled it out of uh, Derek's pocket before we left. Oh, well, uh, I mean, I'm assuming anybody who casts spells would already have the focus they would need. Yeah, you should probably just sell that, or you okay. can try to cast spells with it. Try real hard. Maybe you can do it. And the periaptive wound closure that you just picked up can also be used as a spell casting focus because it's technically an amulet. Wait a second. Do you think the guards know how to get down here? I mean, there had to be like a blood sacrifice and words spoken. And do you think they would? Do you think? I feel like we need to take a short. I don't think they would. Yeah, Yeah, I feel like we need to take a rest. (laughs) It seems to be a a very neutral temperature. Um, it's oh, we're in pretty pretty princess mode. Um, it seems to be a fairly neutral temperature. It seems to, I mean, there's nothing. It's plenty of air. There's even a stream of uh, moving water running around the outside of the place. Um, it looks like you could survive and thrive in here for as long as you needed, basically. Let's take a long rest, boys. Yeah, yeah I'll, 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 I'll command the eagle to watch the door. Oh, so you're going to take a long rest? Eight hours? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Go ahead and everyone give yourself a long rest. You're not going to get interrupted. Um, the, it looks like the guards never figured out how to get down here. Um, and uh, considering how hard, how hurt you look, Pure, um looks at all of you and she goes, Yes, I really think it's a good idea that we stay in relative safety. Just, just hanging out in a in a dingy sacrifice room for eight hours. No big deal. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Another like extra dimensional pocket dimension thing, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did I not end combat? I didn't end combat. Right. That's better. 
Uh, yeah. So you, after eight hours of resting, you, I mean, it's, it's not the most comfortable in the world. It is a very hard stone floor. Um, it's, but like I said, it's, it's a neutral temperature. There seems to be a very even mild breeze just to keep things flowing and comfortable. And there's the flowing water, which if you tried, it seems to be not only palatable, but fairly fresh tasting, all things considering. So, yeah, um, it's, it's a fairly good rest, all things considering. Uh, give me one moment here. No, you know what? Not gonna bother with that. Uh, okay, so getting as you leave, because I'm assuming now you're going to be leaving. As you leave, yeah. you're all restored. You're feeling great. It's been eight hours. Um, that is when you get to the next area, and it's the entire building's basically been cordoned off, and there's guards everywhere. <laughs> Uh, before we leave, I'm gonna take Susan's head. Take his skull. Okay, you take the skull of Susan. Got it. I mean, you can, maybe you can bring him back someday, if it's worth it. Remember you always, Susan. You bring yeah, him back. Awesome. Why did you bring me back? We were protecting the city from this mage, guys. We know this. Come on, let's do this. Uh, or worse yet, Do you guys want to take pieces him? of him for food later? I know, uh, our friend, you, oh, you rest I got you, uh, like to eat. Oh, okay. Sounds Fucking great. cannibals. I, I still look like one of them, so I'm going to try to pass off like all the employees were the bad guys, and we were doing a service by killing them. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to deal this, this as an action challenge. Oh, God. Action challenge! Yeah, I need to make like a little like... I should make an like, audio bit for that as, as we go and be like, Action challenge! <laughs> We'll lead you all back! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, it says reset this shit. Uh, oops. Okay, uh, and you, uh, you are going to... So this one's gonna be, um... Yeah, we're gonna see how this works. We're, we're gonna bring this down. You're only gonna need... I'm going to say five successes this time but once again the usual three fails and that sucks for you you'll see why um and it's not one of the incremental ones five successes you're just you're out of here you're good okay starting at the top um let's do let's do let's do let's do let's do this completely randomly we're we're gonna do this in the same order but we're gonna start in a random spot uh, with Inhalathor this time. So, uh, starting with Inhalathor. So, you guys appear in the rune circle. You're in the middle of the post office. Um, there's still blood everywhere, but the bodies seem to be gone. And there's guards just all suddenly with a somewhat surprised look, look towards you. Inhalathor, uh, what is, what are you hoping to achieve in this situation? Well, still, I since look like one of the employees, I'm going to be like, it's about time you guys all showed up. Okay. We have to deal with all of these bad guys ourselves. All right. All right. So you're going to try and convince them that you're here, like you're supposed to be here. And uh, basically, like, you just, yeah, you weren't the cause so much as, as trying to help. Got it. Um, okay. So uh, moving on, moving on, we're going to do this. Here, let's 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 jumble it around randomly. Let's let's random this shit up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Okay, so Robert, we're gonna make you next. Uh, what do you think you would be doing to help the situation here? To to improve the situation? Fuck up. To where Inhale Thor is trying to defuse it and say there was some crazy wizard try to help convince them that they attacked us and all that. So what are you gonna say to, to Inhale Thor? I didn't hear that. Like try to convince the like the guards that were uh, the wizard attacked us, you know what I mean? Like we were just delivering stuff. Okay, go for it. What what do you say? 
This wizard, he attacked us. We were just delivering stuff, man. All right, all right. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to say that your your turn is assisting in Hailathor, so he's going to get advantage when he rolls. Um, Gek Slim, you're next. Gek, what are you what are you going to be doing to help this situation? Are you just you're going to try and help talk the way out? You're just going to like book it and hope for the best, fight your way out. I, uh, I don't know, pretend your furniture. I'm it's going up to you. To... I'm going to help defuse the situation as well. I'm going to come out and be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. If you guys got any problems, you guys need to go talk to our main man, Derek. We're going to be there for a pizza party anyways. Okay. All right. So that's not so much a lie as just persuading with a bit of the truth. So I'm going to say that's a persuasion. All right. All right. About the pizza party, which is a legit thing. That's weirdly enough, seems to be the most important thing to you guys in this campaign. <laughs> um, moving on to Binks. Binks, what are you going to be doing to help this situation? You got a couple people lying to them that you were supposed to be here, and one guy just being like, hey, talk to my manager type situation. I'm just going to go over by uh, by Gix, and uh, I'm going to be like, yeah, you need to talk to Zach. He told us to come here and confront this wizard fella, and, and you know, you need to talk to him and just leave us alone. Okay, so you're going to assist Gek. So it's going to be at advantage, which is super keen, super awesome. As you're also being like, hey, talk to my manager. It's not my fault. Uh, Geth. Oh, someone's dying. Oh, bother. Oh, sorry. I thought I was muted. Uh, no worries. <laughs> I was, uh, that was a big hit, was it? <laughs> I didn't take it. That will do. Just <laughs> my stomach being stupid today. Um, okay. I am. Uh, I think I'm gonna walk up to um, the front counter, acting like a customer. Like, where's my packet? Okay. All right. So you're you're just you you're just gonna try to blend in and be. You're gonna care in your way out of this situation. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your manager? You're gonna you're gonna carry your way out of it. Okay, so um, I'm gonna say that's probably a deception as well. That that kind of makes sense. You're just you're trying to make them think that you're a customer and and yeah, just forcefully carrying your way through. Cool, cool. And finally, you're with the most. Yeah, I'm literally gonna appear up. Um, I'm going to eat one of my rations and just kind of like act surprised, like ooh, ooh, this isn't where I parked my car. <laughs> <laughs> along with everybody else. All right, so we're gonna give you a deception as well. Then, all right, let's do some let's do some uh, rolls here. So we're gonna start with Inhalathor. As you're convincing them, you were supposed to be in here and you were helping with the situation. Uh, roll a deception at advantage for me, please. Uh, Eleven is unfortunately. Oh yeah, it's advantage. Oh, thirteen is enough. You're good. You got a, you got a success. Oh, good thing you got that success then. Robert Robert helped you out. He backed you up a little bit. And because of that, you were able to convince him. Because it seemed, you know, there's two of you. It's not like just one person, right? Uh, Gex, so you're trying to persuade them. Maybe like, oh, hey, listen there. There's like our, we, you know, we're, we're here to help. But our manager is the one that sent us. I'm just doing my job. And Binks, you're... They're backing him up as well. So, uh, Gek, roll a persuasion with advantage. Now, is it control? What button did uh, you shift. press? Bob? Shift. Shift. Okay. Oh, that's not great. Uh, okay. All right. So, um, they they look at you and go, hey, "You're still accountable for, accountable for your own actions." Um, with that, that's going to be a Good. failure. Unfortunately, uh, so we're gonna go to Geth. Um, Geth, I would like you to roll a deception for me, please, as you uh, you try to go full Karen on their ass. Been waiting for this package forever. But... Beautiful. Um, immediately, one of the guys goes, "Oh, oh shit! Oh yeah! Um, right! Uh, I, I'm sorry. The business is closed. The business is closed." Uh, well, I mean, wouldn't that be Inhalathor? What's that, sir? 
I mean, the only person who would technically be attending the place is in Halo 4, uh, right? Oh, yeah. I will definitely get you your package, and I, you know, we walk together. Um, Erythmos, I'm going to need a deception from you as well. Um, you know what? They did very well on that, so they're already convincing the guards. I'm going to give you advantage. Nice. Wow. <laughs> well, why did I say that? Even with advantage, that one great. Um, so they kind of like look at you. You're not very convincing or charismatic in any way. They kind of look at you and go, "Ah, oh, big brute, lots of bodies. Eh? Something's something seems seems kind of fishy." I'm sorry, guys. Something seems kind of fishy. Uh, so we're gonna go. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna do it in the reverse order this time, because uh, we haven't failed or succeeded yet. Uh, Eurothemos, uh, and you know, I'm actually lowering. You guys did really good so far. I'm actually lowering the target number as a result. Um, you guys only need three according to the chart. So you actually. It's really coming down to you need one more success or one more fail to see what the fuck's happening here. Um, uh, so you wrote the most. So starting off with you. <laughs> no pressure. And remember, you can describe your actions however you want to try and get out of this situation. If you suddenly say, like, we're bursting out the door, or, like beheading the guards or anything like that, it doesn't mean we go into combat. That's what the action challenge is about. You're just narratively describing how you're dealing with the situation. It's all up to you. That's all I gotta say. So, Eurothmos, what would you what would you like to do? Describe to me what you what you would be doing. Oh, you got really quiet. I'm sorry. I, I just realized my sensitivity is down low. I apologize. Oh no! Sorry. You said it's standing there eating. They all think I'm lying. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're they are they already like almost out of the building is are we all still standing in the portal um some of you started moving a little bit now but like you're not out of the building yet there's and there's still lots of guards around there's more guards in like the front lawn area and stuff i mean this is a major murder scene i'm literally just gonna look up at the guards and just really really openly say i don't think the adventurer's guild approves of your sacrifice chambers that you your city is running. Oh, uh, all right. We're going to call that one an intimidation. Um, as the guards kind of pretty much run the city, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so the the guards kind of get a little antsy at that mention about the sacrifice chambers and how the the guilds may not like that. So, uh, that's a good one. I like that. Uh, Geth, what would you be doing? Um, second round. So right now, Inhale Thor is, is guiding me to, to find a. In Inhale um, Thor is yeah, he's like helping to try and guide people out at the moment. Um, you and you and Binks are more talking about like, or uh, Binks and Gek were more talking about like dealing with their manager, whereas Inhale Thor and, Ro- and Robert were more about, um, you know, we were here to help and and it's not our fault and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm gonna try to keep up the ruse. Like, like, like seriously, I, I, I will be speaking to your manager about this. This is unacceptable. I think that's kind of an intimidation as well. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to say Eurythmos and you kind of coupled together, but I'm going to give you the role at advantage. Okay. Since I do believe you're the more charismatic of the two. Um. So he, Erythmos is going to be assist, sort of assisting. He's like, he's threatening at the same time that you're like, I'm going to speak to your manager about this. Um, okay. Uh, so we're going to do Binks. Binks, what would you like to do to try and help resolve this situation? So I'm just going to look and see if I can figure out which guy's in charge in there and be like, like the big guy said, the Adventurers Guild just found a sacrifice chamber in your post office. How does that look on you guys? Okay. All right, you know what? Uh, We're all kind of like labeling, like it is up to the next roll. We're all kind of labeling on it. So what what I'm gonna do is you're assisting as well. So on top of advantage, we're giving another plus two onto Geth's roll. 
I think we're kind of lay putting all our eggs in one basket here. So far, at least. Gek, what would you be doing to assist? Way to type. Uh, you know what? I'm just just on the off tape. If it doesn't work, I'm just gonna moonbeam him. Oh snap! So you're moonbeaming someone? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, I'm gonna moonbeam the guards if uh, if they're uh, <laughs> persuasion. <laughs> okay. When in doubt, when in doubt, cook them. Okay, all when right. Doubt, and, and, and like I said, it's not like a combat round. It is kind of more active. So I'm gonna say like. If things go south, that's what the moonbeam is going to be for. So it'll be it'll be a spell attack. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move you to be the last person to roll. Sounds good. Uh, Robert. Um, can I start convincing these guards? Um, since I have the mimic cry, can I like start sounding like Radathor? The postalich, like I am right to throw the postalich and show them. Okay, um, okay. So you you want to mimic Radathor and just like try to make it seem like he's talking through you or something? Just to show, like, oh, that's what he was. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, oh! Like as a tact, was... like a recorder to show what, what how bad of a guy he was, type of thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, we're gonna do a persuasion check then. Um, yeah, I think a persuasion check. You have got your mimicry ability, which... So what I'm going to do is I'm, uh, I'm going to, I'm actually going to give you advantage on your roll due to your mimicry ability. Alright, and in Inhalathor, what are you going to do to help the situation? Uh, I'm just still with Geth, just pouring it on, you know, adding legitimacy to it. Like, yes, I'll get you your package. Don't worry. We had a little bit of a holdup with these ruffians and okay. yeah, keep up the ruse. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we are going to start with Geth. That's the big one. That's the main ruse that seems to be going on. That's fooling them. Uh, so Geth, I'm going to get you to roll uh, intimidation with advantage and an additional plus four. Advantage and an additional plus four. Yeah, everyone's putting all their eggs into your basket, son. Jesus. Okay. So that'll be that'll sixteen. Be that'll be no pressure. Uh, that that is that is enough for the success. Uh, so just out of curiosity, I just want to see what the other roles would be like. But I think you're good. Um, so uh, I'm gonna get Robert. I'm gonna get you to roll your persuasion with advantage for me, please. You can just hold the shift key to roll it if you need for the quick advantage thing, Robert. That'd be cool. Get it. I mean, that's going to make it on its own. So, yeah, you're good. Uh, and then, Gek, your spell attack was only going to go off if you guys needed to book it because you were doing badly. Um, but everything's going smoothly right now. Do you still need to, like, laser beam bombard the guards? No. Or are you gonna like? <laughs> you're gonna I'm, slip out. I'm good. gonna let this. <laughs> and one final thing, laser beams. <laughs> so they're like they're like they're like okay guys, have a great day. Like everything's good. He's like laser beam. <laughs> Fire in my lasers. Okay. <laughs> so um, with that, you're going to make it out, and you're going to uh, escape from the post office and uh, get back. Um, into the city proper basically you've got your trinkets that you've managed to earn from the post office itself as well as the, the gold that you got and you were told that anything you earned while rescuing parrot you got to keep 100 percent of you didn't have to give anything to the ship although it's nice that you're getting a little extra in the ship inventory um the captain seems fairly f f giving as far as that's concerned um, it's only on certain missions she sets up that she might ask for a cut. And yeah, it's gonna like lean over to Peary and go, so you like pizza? <laughs> hmm. Um, I don't think I have 
really had pizza. What is oh, it, this pizza? It's it's dough and sauce and cheese and whatever else you want to put on it is the, the mm. most delicious thing in the galaxy. Mm, I have been ravenous from being uh, down below. It sounds very good. I would like this pizza. What do you say, folks? Let's get our fucking pizza party. Let's get our fucking pizza party. Pizza party. And I pat Slim Jimbo on the head. All right. Well, you haven't gotten to the ship yet, so Slim Jimbo's still tied oh. up on the ship. <laughs> uh, you guys, however, are going to be heading to um, pizza party and po- possibly other missions and stuff. The pizza party, I'm going to assume, is turn- going to turn into an utter and complete travesty. So we're going to plan that for next week. <laughs> so I think this is where we're going to call it for tonight. <laughs> um, it's like I've got other things I could throw in, but it's kind of getting close to when we'd end it anyway, so I don't really want to start something. So I think this is a good time for us to end it. Um, Just assume death is going to come out of this pizza party. I, I'm assuming the pizza party is like it's going to result in a citywide fire and a bunch of people dead. So <laughs> it's, it's, I bet you pizza is not the only thing going to be eaten. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 100% guaranteed somebody's going to take a bite out of somebody. Yeah. Let me uh, get some ass. So thank you everyone for joining tonight. It was another great session of the Stars Are Made of Magic. Uh love playing with these guys. They despite being new at D&D, they're picking up fucking fast. Um so we'll see next session maybe a little bit more role play heavy than combat heavy. I want to say but I don't know with these fuckers, so we'll see how that goes. For all I know, they might just start killing and eating people right off the bat. I don't know how it's going to go, um, but we'll hey, see. <laughs> we didn't eat a single person this game. All I heard that shouldn't be a metric. <laughs> <laughs> that should not be a metric. We have to abide by. Like, there's not a bar of like, oh, we did good. We didn't eat very many people today. Um, that shouldn't be a bar. But, I took a hostage and tried to befriend him instead of eating his fingers off. So yeah, I, I mean, was, like, okay. I, I, in all fairness, if he got back to the boat, he would have got eaten. Oh, no. really? No, I, I don't no. think he, I think you would have protected him. I, I legitimately felt bad killing Susan, but it was just, was, it was, I could get the most amount of players with that cone of coal that, that way. I legitimately felt bad killing Susan. I wanted you to have Susan, but it just didn't make sense. If, if if Susan had survived, I would have, like, created a custom backpack that he could have stood on and then just, like, fire arrows behind me. <laughs> would have been my little riding buddy. So, once again, you'll anyone watching the stream will see at the bottom of it, um, everyone's names here. You, um, everyone here is a streamer. Check them out. I will make sure there are appropriate links uh, as the YouTube videos come out. I, I realize I'm one behind. Episode 2, the YouTube video for Episode 2 hasn't come out yet. It's still in the middle of being edited. I had a busy week. Um, that will be dropping probably in the next day or two, and I'll see if I can get on Episode 3 this week as well. Uh, it's nice to sort of cut out any empty parts and just try to shrink it as much as we can, get it nothing but non-stop action. And I uh, think it's pretty good. Um, do all the fancy intros and everything like that. So thank you everyone for joining. If you're on the YouTube, uh, like, subscribe, all of that. I am focusing more on the YouTube than the Twitch these days. But if you're on the Twitch, I mean, I still stream a bunch. I still do occasional games and stuff like that. So follow um, and all of that good stuff and uh, stick around.